Happy Wednesday. Everybody got your helmets out. I was out laying in the sun, so don't mind me. I was listening to chaos this morning and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go try to even out my tan line some. <laughs> the kids are gone. The house is quiet. So I went and laid by the pool for like two hours and I burnt myself, but we're okay. I hope you guys are all having a happy Wednesday. This is, <laughs> I can't even tell you guys what my thoughts are right now, but we're going to get into a little bit of it. Um, a lot is popping off all over the place. We've got some new people we're going to address today. Some new bees. We've got some ones that are seeking attention still over here. So we're going to get into it. I'll be back in a minute after my intro. <laughs> afternoon y'all that are here hey Lindsay hey Pika generally Jenny oh you know who that is this is a new person to me hey Helen hey Kathy P Kathy I caught some of your live and then I was I was watching both things and my mind was blown hey revival Helen's here in top chat starry night Bo Janice in accounting Stella B Duchess Britt Christina love you Hope you're having a good day at work. Wicked Crafter, loving the laundry. Tracy, Duchess, thank you for becoming a member. Malicious Intent, Donna. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I know. I've been catching her replays, Donna, for sure. Thanks for stopping in. Hey, Wendy. Hey, little Irish girl. Hey, Terry, J-Dub. Okay, y'all. We got some new characters. Ugh, going to work until nine. Of course you are. That's all you do is work. Uh, we need to get together soon. Hey, Reese Cup. Hey, it's Amber Lee. Okay, y'all. Where do you guys want to start? We got some new characters. Do you want to start with 1111 True Crime? Sweetie Pilo, Crime Sleuthin, Brittany J. Where would you like to go? Slimy's World. Which one? You guys tell me below. Do you want to go brand new that we have never reviewed over here and then go into the most problematic, in my opinion? Where would you like to start? Oh, Bo, yes. Um, you can email me at nonsenseontheweb at gmail.com. Just not all of it together. And it's in my description, I think, or the about part too. You want to start with Sweetie? Okay, let's go to Sweetie then. Let's go. Let me get my... Um, hold on. She's brand new to me and... Mm, <laughs> I'm not sure... Oh my God, a sane person. Hey, Deans. <laughs> okay, we're going to go. Okay, we're going to go to Sweetie Pilo. For those of you that have never heard that name, you are in the same boat as I am. This is somebody that is new to me. And the reason why I'm highlighting her, you will see in just a minute. It's not a super long, like I've just barely touched the water on this one. So bear with me because um, I'm sure there's a lot more. Right now, so what? Let me set some things straight, too, because I think people get confused. New people get confused. Old people get confused. I know I addressed the drama yesterday a little bit and that this is we're not doing the back and forth like this is so ridiculous. And I just saw her try to deflect and use drama again. Crime sleuth and I'm referring to. But um, I've gotten a few emails and this is nothing to the people that have emailed me. This is just a kind of a flat out warning to everybody. 
y'all, like I've been getting warnings about a lot of the people that are in my chat. Like, oh, this person is just as bad as X, Y, Z. Just don't. Save your time. Save your energy. Please stop. Because I'm telling you right now, I don't do the behind the scenes shit. Period. Point blank. End of story. I've never had a conversation with most of these people in private conversations. So you don't need to come out here and like warn me about this person's going to turn on me or that like I'm right here. I keep things very compartmentalized. I don't, I'm not in a click. I see things for what they are. I like certain people for different things, but just save your energy because it's like evolving process and you pointing out things about people makes me turn the other direction and look at you. If, I, if I'm being honest here, it makes me look at the people that are giving me these warnings because it's just how it goes. Because if you're in the back end trying to surf shit up between all these creators, you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem, truthfully. Like, I, sorry, not sorry. Okay, we are going to go into this. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, um, this is Sweetie Pilo. I don't know a whole lot of history with her. I've kind of done a once over on her channel a little bit. I'm not impressed at this point in time. That takes no energy, though. I am not impressed with most people, so that's not shocking. This is all under fair use. This is based on my opinion and the bullshit that she puts out here. Thank you for becoming a member again, Duchess and Sammy. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Cabana. Um, hey, Vic. Hey, Nicole. Uh, twist, everybody coming in. Thank you guys for joining me. Okay. Uh, buckle up because this one's a little interesting and we're just going to kind of dabble here and I'm going to point out some things that I find very problematic. Now she's got a lot of streams on Sebastian, a lot. She gets on something and doesn't let it go and she milks it to the full extent is what my assumption is already. She's a bigger creator though. I will be honest. She has, let me see, 51.8 K subs. Again, don't, I don't care about that. Um, but this is how misinformation continues to spread like wildfire. It continues to just take off and it is going a whole new direction. So let's watch this. We're going to go from sweetie. Then we'll go into 1111 true crime because that's not a very long one either. There's just a few things I want to point out about how problematic that is and disgusting in my opinion. And then we'll get into the drama of it all. Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing well, despite the circumstances that there's still no new information about Sebastian Rogers. So she did this after the press conference. Keep that in mind too. After yesterday's press conference, this was her response. It's looking bleak at this moment. It really is. I watched that press conference. I assume a lot of you have as well. Um, if you haven't seen it, I urge you. Yes. Okay. I, I knew somebody was going to point that out. She does usually have a person on panel with her, which we will review at a later date who claims to be a psychic reverend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To listen to it though, there isn't much information that you can glean from it. It's still, I think important just to keep up with the case in general, but basically what they're saying, law enforcement has come out and said that they see the parents and stuff as being cooperative at this point, that they've done nothing um, notable that they can speak on that kind of thing that, you know, everything's as it should be that they're compliant, you know, that sort of thing. I don't know. It, I, I understand this. Okay. Law enforcement, they will do certain things to keep the public at ease. They will also do certain things to keep suspects at ease. And okay. So now this is what I find interesting suspects. So law enforcement has not came out and named specific suspects, right? That's just not happened, but they're going to go ahead and do it for you. They're, they're going to go ahead and do it for you. I kind of wonder if that's what this was more or less. Do you guys know that tactic called tickling the wire where law enforcement will come out? Like it, it could be like a public thing. So like a press conference, for example, and they could put some information out there that says, let's, let's just say, for example, you know, we're, we're searching waterways or something like that. And it's to provoke a response within the suspects. So I know that law enforcement can lie through their teeth if they want to, if they want to provoke a response. So like, I wonder at this point, if maybe their intention at this moment, and this is just my speculation, is it's to keep Katie and Chris at ease and, and to make them think that they are not in the light of suspicion. Okay. I will say she did say it's speculation. It's her speculation. Okay. I can get down with that. But then she goes into naming the parents. How is that helpful? 
That's my honest opinion. I don't give a fuck about your honest opinion. Stop putting it out to 50 some thousand people. You have, you have some sort of responsibility for what comes out of your mouth on a public platform. Did anybody else kind of, you're not helping, you're hurting, you're hurting in my opinion. I wonder if that was the case. Let's be honest here. Kid goes missing. Obviously it was in the night because he has seen on surveillance outside of the restaurant, getting into the vehicle, into Katie's vehicle. Uh, then, you know, the whole trash thing, which there's now speculation about that from Seth saying that the footage was so unclear and they're not positive if that was actually him. So that kind of opens up a little bit more of a possibility that maybe somewhere along the way, did she, did she hand them to somebody? Mm. What happened, right? Uh, but the, the point I'm getting to here is he just vanishes. Where is he? What happened to this precious boy? I think what happened so far is that Katie and Chris found a blind spot in the- Listen to this. So now we're naming suspects and now we're detailing what you assume they did to a missing child. Surveillance. If he really was, you know, at home and he went to bed and all that jazz, they found a blind spot in the surveillance and they knew which way they could go in. Even though law enforcement has said that the data on Chris's cell phone puts him three plus hours away. Okay. Or have somebody go in and retrieve him. Now, now somebody else they possibly paid to, or she didn't say paid, had somebody else go in to retrieve him. All right. That's honestly what I think. So maybe if this was like a premeditated thing. Oh, premeditation again. Hmm. These are some big, hefty opinions and speculation there, ma'am. They're kind of as bad as your cat eye, if you're asking me. Um, somebody went in and grabbed him and went somewhere. And who knows, maybe could he have even thought he was going on some sort of an, an adventure or something? Like, anyway, the point I'm getting at is something happened here. Kids don't just vanish like this. This is bizarre. And it um, Ma'am, if you're in true crime, then pull your head out of your fucking ass. Because just off the top of my head, Alicia Navarro, four years missing, completely vanished until she walked into a police department in Haver, Montana, four years later. Kids do, unfortunately, just vanish. It happens every fucking day. You being in true crime should know this. It is kind of reminiscent of Summer Wells. Hey, and by the way, I was thinking the other day, Summer Wells, didn't she disappear without shoes on also? That was the speculation. Mm. Now, I'm not saying they're in any way linked. I just think that, I think that the shoes were an afterthought. I think the people who perpetrated this. Oh, oh, the people who perpetrated this now. Forgot to make sure his shoes were out of that house. That's honestly what I think. They forgot to take his shoes. They fucked up. Oh, Lord. Anyway, I should say hi to everybody. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to see these familiar names. Hey, Mar. Hey, Mrs. B. Thank you so much for modding for me. Also, if anybody wants to be a mod for me, please send me your contact information. I need to make like a, a team, a you know, small team now that I'm doing live streams more often. And that way we can, you know, moderate the chat well. And I, I mean, Mrs. B does a fantastic job, but I understand it's a lot for her to for her to take on. But anyway, so I'm confused about this case. It's absolutely uh, mind blowing that there's there was no sightings of him no nothing he literally vanished and then now nina and and here we go into this now for those of you that don't know what she's about to talk about she's about to go back to the ex-wife of christopher proudfoot who came on panel with trev time and i one thing i need to correct yesterday i said trev time was a piece of shit names mixed up trev 757 and trev time are two different people I don't know much about Trev time. I think it was a huge misjudgment. I don't know if he was manipulated into doing that, what the fucking case may be. But he brought on the ex-wife, Nina, to his panel to slander and defame um, Chris Proudfoot all under the guise that somehow it was going to help Sebastian. It was just pure character assassination. They're going through a custody case that's obviously been nasty. They're exes. But the internet has been on fire from it and she's going to run with a lot of that speculation so once again i apologize the names these are new characters to me so trev time and trev 757 are completely different trev 
757, I will fully say with my full chest, is an absolute piece of fucking garbage. He's the one who does the spirit boxes and does the grifting in the most exploitive, terrible, horrific ways. Trev Time is the one who brought on the ex-wife. Again, I think it was complete lapse of judgment on his part. I don't think he understood what he was potentially walking into. From my understanding, he's a young kid, but it is what it is. So I'm sure you guys have seen that testimony. And if you haven't, it's gripping. It's unbelievable. But it gives you a glimpse into the capabilities that Chris has as far as abuse goes. And it doesn't seem that he necessarily perpetrates it physically. So again, we have a bunch of words by Nina. We have a bunch of words in a sealed custody case that was asked to be sealed by the Proudfoots because of all of the nastiness in the back and forth. That was, he said that they asked for it to be sealed because it involves a minor child. Now she is going to say that minor child's because, name over and over again and the mom put it out there already. I think it's disgusting because that's overstepping in every way, shape or form to put out private information about a minor child, but she doesn't seem to care and neither do these creators. Towards women? Like there's, at least from what I've heard, I've heard speculation, but she's come out and confirmed that he physically, you know, um, harmed her children. At one point, there was a backhand to her daughter's face when he was clipping her nails. Allegedly, this is all alleged. There was no proof shown. It was all Nina's words. Again, I tend to believe victims, wrong time and place. The entire timing of the interview was suspect to me. Everything about it is suspect to me. It was also alleged that he attempted to run her over in a police department's parking lot, yet there's no record of that. So, I, but they're going to run with it. I guess she pulled away too fast and he like smacked her so hard in the face that it busted her lip. Then to the little, and by the way, trigger warning, I should just say that in case, but anyway, uh, then at one point, the three, her three-year-old son is accosted by him or no i think it was he was actually spanked and then chris says to nina well he needs to man up who does that remind you of the elijah view case right it's like man up a three-year-old should man up are you kidding me it's insane but what's insane is the fact that you are repeating it like it's factual through the course of the story what you hear is that chris collaborated the stealing of his baby that he didn't want the stealing of his child um his biological child stealing her on in the first place he he urged nina to actually get an abortion if we take her on what she says again there's nothing to prove that any of her story is factual so repeating it like this and then suddenly precious little faith is born and he wants to have control over faith and coordinates the stealing of little faith. Uh, his mother, Kathy, who sounds like a demon seed also, she, so now we're going to level up and continuing to attack Chris's parents. He used one of her, you know, legal, legal friends, I guess, to go in and serve Nina with papers so that they could basically take the the child. Now, what was unclear was how long Chris and Kathy and that family ended up having little faith that I'm unsure of, but nevertheless, that is a nightmare situation that anybody would take your baby, especially at such a pivotal time as when they're a newborn. There is, again, we don't know the reasons why that possibly happened. We have no idea. I can't think of much more of a nightmare than that would be. To have your or even if it did happen for that matter your baby stolen i know that when uh your baby's stolen ma'am ma'am knock knock i'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here that you might have some brains up there in that fucking head of yours but i'm failing already to see that that's a possibility um you're saying a lot of stuff here pretty confidently and it wouldn't be stealing his biological child's it's a court case that's been a court case for years. I had just, actually with both of my daughters. Especially if you just said that they served her court paperwork through Chris's mom's legal friend. So again, trying to make it out like it's stealing. A ch mm. daughters, I had these extreme mm. health crises. It was bizarre. It was after a C-section. Um, for example, with my daughter, Mackenzie, I got, what is that? Cardiomyop cardiomyopathy. It was bizarre. It had like 600... I know it sounds extreme, like 600 times the amount of fluid that I should have had in my body. TMI, I know. 
Um, but anyway, I had to be separated from my precious Mackenzie for like. Oh, fuck. Why? Why do we have to have something in common? At least I like that name. Five days. And it was tearing me apart, especially because I was breastfeeding at the time. So I can't picture how awful this must have been for Nina to be without her faith. You know, that whole story is tragic. It breaks my heart. What I appreciated about her story, though, is that she owned her part of it, that that she really did. Uh, huh? Put, you know, unfortunately, her kids, their comfort on the back burner. And she, I mean, she knows she did this. This is what we all do when we're in abusive relationships. We have hopes and dreams that it's going to get better, that we can salvage the relationship. And the thing is, is it never does. And it's like this, this dream that just will never be, you know, fulfilled. And so anyway, so she stayed in the relationship as long as she possibly could. Long story short, it was a disaster. And now she, this is her fucking rebuttal to the press conference, y'all. Think about that for a second. This is her rebuttal to the press conference because there was no details given that they wanted to twist these narratives. She is going back to pulling bits and pieces of the ex-wife's ex-baby mom. What? In the absolute, and this is, this is, we're only going to listen to like one more minute of this. Just wait until I really dive in a little bit further because I've watched two more of her streams. This is what I had prepared today. But one of the other ones is way worse than this, way worse than this. This is why I don't, I'll be honest. I don't take true crime seriously anymore. I think it's more harmful than it is good. They're not once again, victim focused. They are not talking about facts. They're using pure speculation and manipulating their audiences with that speculation and these emotional polls and bullshit like that. Stick to the facts of what law enforcement talked about and keep it there. You're not helping Sebastian. Again, this is another one of these, in my opinion, that wants the worst outcome possible. Her children live with the effects of this maniac. More than anything, this gave me a glimpse inside of Chris and his capabilities. He is the exact type that would orchestrate crime against a child. He is the, the exact type who would orchestrate a crime against a child. Meanwhile, he does not have a record about perpetrating crimes against children. How, how is this helping y'all? In my opinion, if there ever was a type to do something just absolutely hideous to each other. Frankly, ma'am, your opinion fucking sucks. He, he's, he's got those characteristics, especially with that whole co coercive control aspect of him. Oh, so now they've labeled him that he's got coercive control. Tell me you like to slander people without telling me you like to slander people. Guys, however they did it, however they did it, it was a planned out effort, in my opinion, because it was a planned out effort, in your opinion. It, Sebastian, not even being seen, nothing. There's no surveillance that captures vehicles that we know of as of right now. There's speculation, of course, but that we actually could say, you know, that there was like a car or something that pulled up. We don't know that. Law enforcement knows that. So it's the crime of the century right now because the crime of the century. We can't figure out what exactly happened. Anyway, I want to hear from you guys today. So I'm going to put out the phone number. Trust me, bitch. You don't want to hear from me. You really don't want to hear from me. Yeah, th that's the introduction to Sweetie Pilo, the wonderful woman herself. Sweetie Pilo is her name. <clears throat> what y'all think about her? What you think about her? I'd love to know what you think because it's going to get worse here. So we're going to, like I said today, we've got a lot of people to highlight today because it's just epically horrible. For some reason, this case itself has brought out the worst of the worst in so many people. 
Um, you can see for yourself, like this woman just, then she goes into an hour plus of people calling in and the pure speculation. And yeah, Duchess, you might. Yeah, bless her heart, right? Generally, Jenny, bless her fucking heart. Okay, buckle up because the next one, my friends, they're going to compare Katie, the mother of Sebastian, to Lori Vallow. I didn't think I would see that. I really didn't think I would see somebody taking this extent. For those of you that don't know, Chad Daybell is currently on trial. Lori is here in Arizona. She has horrifically been involved in murdering children and other adults. And now we're going to take the jump to comparing Katie, the mother of a missing child, to Lori Vallow. And yes, we are. Okay, this is 1111 True Crime is the name of her, 1111 True Crime is the name of her channel. She's got 20K subs. Don't know much about her either. She's newer to me, but here we go. We're going to start, we're going to jump through this one because it's 45 minutes. So we're going to jump to a few different spots. I'm going to give you the introduction of what she says in the beginning, and then we're going to jump to some spots. We'll pass her little intro thing here. I missed you guys so incredibly much. I hope you were all doing well. I hope you had a beautiful Easter. Lots of goodies, lots of good eats, lots of good family. I had a really relaxing time. Oh, by the way, <laughs> this is kind of this is kind of cute. So <clears throat> I went to get my taxes done and All right, we're gonna skip her tax thing because she talks about how she got her tax lady involved and stuff. Stepdad, we're not sure. Okay, hold on. But father who is the 15 year old autistic oh here we go rogers and when i was on dolly vision watching him the other night i was in the audience um because seth rogers the real father of sebastian rogers who is the 15 year old autistic male young man that is missing from Henders, hendersonville tennessee so the real father does like a call-in okay you know those programs and one of the things that I can't remember how Dolly said it, but he alluded to the fact that Seth wasn't giving him any answers, you know, and obviously the dad, the dad doesn't know anything, but Seth, the dad had to have a meeting that very day with TBI and other investigators with the mother for sure, possibly stepdad, we're not sure. So that would mean that Katie Proudfoot, the mother who was the last one seen and known be alone allegedly with Sebastian the night that he disappeared. So they have this mother and real father meeting with TBI. And so Dolly's like trying to get the info. Like, why did you get called in? Why was everybody called in? And Seth went into detail about how it was something that he had been asking for since the very beginning. And that was last proof of life. And he got to see a film, a video, and it was of Sebastian not in the restaurant, but walking to or towards Katie's car with Katie. Okay? So that was important. Okay. But Dolly kept pushing a little bit further, and he just felt like he wasn't getting anywhere, and um, Seth was being very forthcoming. But uh -huh. Seth also was following what he's been told by law enforcement. There's some things that he's just not going to discuss. Uh -huh. And then Dolly expressed that. Is how do I get how do I get what you know or something like that? Anyway, the answer that Seth gave gave us pay attention to this was to Dolly, you're not asking the right questions. And that has stuck with me because I know Seth is on the up and up looking for his son, right? He is boots on the So she knows that Seth is on the up and up looking for his son. The ground, sweat and blood gonna find his son. And I watched his profile. He puts his hand behind his hands, behind his head, during the interview on the parking lot there. And people try to make something out of that. I'll tell you right now, he's been on his feet. He's a heavy set man. I 100 believe, a thousand percent, Seth is doing that body motion with his hands up behind his head to alleviate the pain and stress from standing so much in the same spot and talking to this lady. 
Um, I believe that is a physical response to alleviate some pain. It's also wide open. He is like leaving his, you know, primordial protective spot, which is his sacral, you know, chakra completely wide open to anything. He is being vulnerable. And so, holy Lord Jesus. Okay. Blessed us all. We are going down a crazy path today. All right. This is 1111 True Crime, Tracy Ann. Um, now, let me let me just clarify really quick. So she states that on Dolly Vision's panel that Seth alluded to, you're not right asking the right questions. That's her whole thing. Ask the right questions, right? That's her big sticking point. Well, motherfucker, if it, you went over here and looked at the lab from Seth's interview... Let me pull this up. We're going to start at the 145 minute mark. This is Josh from the lab and Seth is on panel with him. And so is Trev time who did the interview with Nina. Um, I'm going to just let you hear what Seth actually says out of his own mouth about what he meant by that, because that has been ran with, with misinformation all over the internet. Okay. Again, this is the lab 145 in is where we're starting just to hear what Seth's response is about this they're all alluding to he was telling Dolly to ask the right questions like he wasn't asking the right question. Should be. But have you got a definite answer on that? They haven't told me nothing, but I thought he was there. I you mean, thought he was at you thought he was at work? I'm under the assumption that he was uh in Memphis. So he's referring to Chris at that point in time. That was another question that was answered. Is that what well, is that only because um is that only because of what he said? Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So so nobody's really corroborated anything like that for you guys. And I mean, obviously you were at work because you didn't you didn't get the phone call until you had left. You had got a text message, I believe. Um yep. Yeah, that's what I don't get, though. I don't understand why law enforcement wouldn't just come out and and say, hey, yeah, this person was actually. Um, law enforcement doesn't clear you. But I, I don't think that's clearing somebody. That is, That's just kind of saying, hey, you know, this person was here at this time. And that's, you know, because. Even I said this earlier, you can get cleared and then you can get uncleared. I mean, that's happened before. I'm not, I'm not asking them to clear anybody. I'm just saying that like, you know, even clear me. sorry guys, we're a couple of seconds ahead. What's that? I said they won't even clear me. So yeah, but you, yeah, that's true. That's true. But I don't know, man, your actions definitely speak much much louder uh hold on there's a couple questions here here you go what time is it where you're like it's got to be after midnight that's and, sure? huh, okay listen to chris he's worried about shoes he cuts katie off on nancy grace there's something about the shoes I don't know, man. I don't know if this like I, I understand that people's fascination with the shoes. I just don't know. I, I don't know if that's a uh, a red herring or not. I mean, maybe it could be. What question did Seth want Trev time to ask? I don't know. What what's that, Trevor? Oh, I'm not sure. I, I talked to Seth for a few hours when I was in town. I'm sure he's tired of hearing my questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Makes sense. Um, ba, ba, ba. Summer's Army says, Seth, we're praying for you. Okay, so you get the context of what they're talking about, right? I'm trying to give you full context. I am fast-forwarding a couple minutes here. It was true. Just because it drags on forever. All right, not saying that the whole thing wasn't true. All right, if half of what she dealt was true, then she's probably got PTSD. Oh, I can let you guys hear his answer to that, I, actually. Let me back that up here. Not. Probably not. <laughs> Here you go. Um, they told Probably. me that they, they told me they had to get some fresh bread from the back. Oh, yeah! I bet you it came with dental floss. <laughs> <laughs> that bread was walking. It certainly did. Um, well, I'm gonna let you guys get to bed because I know it's after midnight there, and you got to search tomorrow. 
I appreciate you coming up and, right, and talking. I'm sorry that you know today just wasn't the day. Hopefully tomorrow's the day, and um, this nightmare ends. You know, it's just a. It is a nightmare, I but I'll tell you, nightmares do end at some point in time. Somebody said, uh, how do you feel about Nina? Uh, from what I understand that the, he feels fine about her, but that that's up to that's up to Seth. I'm sorry. Are you Chris? Are you telling me how I'm supposed to answer? How do you feel about Nina? <laughs> <laughs> Hurricane or Chris's ex-wife? Uh, the both, both if you want. It doesn't matter to me. Chris's ex-wife first. Um, I feel sorry for that lady. I really do. I mean, she she dealt with somebody. If if half of what she said was true, all right. Not saying that the whole thing wasn't true. All right. If half of what she dealt was true, then she's probably got PTSD to begin with, and she's probably in fear of her life. Yeah. Yeah. I, look, when I, listening to that, it was shocking. And you're right. Even, even if, even if one of those incidents were true, I believe her. I absolutely believe her because she's got a lot on the line, man. You know, she's got a lot on the line. So for her to come out and, and, and tell Porky's is going to be a, would be a big problem for her uh, in her upcoming uh, battle, you know, so and I it's a battle she's been in with in for seven plus years, Josh. It's a cust a nasty custody battle. I don't think that she's I don't think that she's dumb by any means at all. No. And we cleared that with her attorney before we That's even right. hit record. Right. That right there, they cleared it with the attorney. I, I have no reason not to believe him, but that's sus to me majorly. Right. So she, you know, she's got she's got a lot on the line. Okay, the Dolly question is coming up right here. Uh, let's see. Seth told Dolly that Dolly didn't ask him the correct questions. What are oh, the correct questions the correct to ask? The to get right some well, I'm I'm assuming that you don't have the answers. If I had the right question, then I would have the right answer, and having the right answer means I would know where to go to find myself. Correct. So that, so I understood what you meant by that. It was I have no problem at people asking questions because I'm hoping that some point in time it will click and I'll know where to go find myself. Yeah. yeah. So the whole alluding to him saying ask the right question or that they weren't asking the right question and that there's this big secret that Seth wanted to tell Dolly but he couldn't do it because Dolly wasn't asking. That was completely twisted into making things out that they weren't. You heard it out of Seth's mouth right there. Let's go back to 1111 true crime because she can't quite understand the concept and can't follow the pattern of what the dad's actually saying. But, you know, that kind of seems to be a natural occurrence out here. Well, I can't see anything nefarious. Um, I did ask the questions I felt I needed to know. And Seth was absolutely at work like beginning to end and on camera and with many, many other people. I won't call them co-workers because he works in a jail. <laughs> um, but there were witnesses. There was no question. And this is a man that... Um, Ma'am, he would have co-workers working in a jail. <laughs> I mean, factually. Has been honest from the get-go to us. and He's been honest from the get-go with you? Where's the proof to show that he's everything he said is honest? Because there's a lot more out there that you guys are overlooking to try and villainize Chris and Katie. Meanwhile, claiming that Seth is this amazing human being with no mistakes in his past, nothing. Now, again, I'm on the family side. I'm not tearing Seth down, but reality is if you're going to look at their past and condemn them over it, you might as well look across the entire board and pull out every single thing from all of them, not just target Chris and Katie, right? That wouldn't be, make sense. I value what he says. So when Seth, a man of few words that is solely focused on his son, is saying, 
asked the right questions. You're not asking the right questions. Y'all are not asking the right questions. I'm like, what questions should we be asking? So how it's not what he said. That's not what he was alluding to. He cleared it up on the lab. Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you to our all-star panel. And we all-star fucking panel, lady. What? We have Interior Family Studios as well as Jenny from Jenny Bill, Jenny Traglin, Marty Boris today. And um, we have Rondi, uh, Rondi Potter. Thank you, lovely. So if you are watching a replay, feel free to hit the fast forward button as much as you like. I just greatly appreciate you tuning in. We're going to be talking a lot about where was the last place that Sebastian is seen and how does that change our perspective? And what do the shoes have to do with it? Because I've been doing a lot of thinking about the shoes. Please stop thinking. It's obviously hurting you. Like, the, what? where the fuck is the panel, first of all? It's a, a, a blank screen. There's no panel. Like, what? I have lost my marbles, y'all. Now we're calling things that are... Mm. And I want to get into that. Hello, Windy City. Welcome to 11 True Crime. Hey, Kim French. You say I believe Seth hired a private investigator as well. I pray Seth finds Sebastian. Allegedly, the rumor on YouTube is Seth has four private investigators. Four. Now the rumor is Seth has four private investigators. Four. Four. Right? He wants his son found. Mm. Hello, April Moyer. You say, I've seen that the interview was when Dolly was questioning the real father. Right. Right. Hey, Ash Cap, how you doing? Gemini 65, Lee McKenna. Hello, lovelies. Angela Lester says, it made me think of Chris Watts. Oh. Mm. You know, oh. the difference is that, you know, how do I want to put it? Energy. I'll just leave it at that. Oh. I just truly believe Seth. Now, I'm not saying you have to. I just truly do. I put him through my victimology, you know. She's putting him through her victimology bullshit. Oh, Lord bless Internal it. red flag test. And he came out with gold. Internal flag. red flag tests. Oh, my life. Let's go back. Victimology, you know, internal red flag test. And he came out with gold stars, you know, really. And um, he's got gold stars on... What? Come again. So I would be absolutely shocked, like blown back and actually have to question myself if um, it were to be made aware that somehow Seth was involved in any way. That's just my humble opinion. Feel free to feel the opposite. Kim Prince said Seth got a sprained shoulder as well. He's hurt inside and out. I can feel it. I can truly feel it. Hey, Pauline to go. How are you? Where do these people come from? Anybody know? A anybody know? I don't know if she is educated, if she's got a degree, like, or I have no clue, but what? This lady has 20,000 people. Sweetie Pilo has 50,000 people. And they're putting this information out there. Like, it's just totally fine. Totally fine. Well, you're on the right channel. We love dogs here. 111 in chat already. You guys, I missed you guys so much. Hey, first name. So I want to talk about the shoes for a minute, you guys. No. And I really want to think about like, what, how do you, how do I want to approach this with you to convey this in the strongest way? Uh. So in the Nicola Bully case, in Nicola Bully's case, it was her phone that everybody was like, oh, that's where she was, right? Because it was by the bench. And it's still a mystery today. Um, she was a real personal, car keys, wallet. But you know, when you're a child, it really has to do with the shoes. And wherever the shoes are, you'll look around and you're like, when you're a child, it really has to do with the shoes. Ma'am, are you okay? Are you sucked into some fucking weird vortex or something? Got the wrong mushrooms? Instead of putting, having a mushroom Swiss burger, you got a shroom burger? I mean, I ain't hating. It is what it is, but. Ma'am, are you okay? Are you okay? Now that song's going to be stuck in my head all day. Like, well, surely they're nearby. Their shoes are here. It's one of the ways I can personally tell if I hear my front door open and close and I go downstairs and I don't want to, you know, call through the house to do a roll call to find out who left. And I'm curious. I'll look at the shoes lined up at the door. Whose shoes are missing? Obviously, that's the person that went out. Now, I'm going to give you a really weird one. Okay. What? 
she does a roll call yelling through her house. And then if they don't answer, she just looks at the shoes to see who went out. So we had a child that went missing up north about three and a half hours from where I lived. And I was terrified for this child. She was found safe and alive. She escaped and um, was able to contact a neighbor of that area. She had been held against her will, um, held captive uh, for weeks and weeks and weeks. And she escaped and she is healthy. Unfortunately, the abductor killed her mother and father and then grabbed her. She came home from the school bus. He saw her get off the school bus and that was it. That was all it took for this individual to decide that this was action he was gonna take. All right? Okay. So when you look at that- That's a tragedy. I'll give you that. I was very concerned because mm. it was getting cold fast and we're in Wisconsin. And I'm like, okay, we're fighting the clock on this. There is no way. Oh Lord, Kiki. This, and I, I can't remember how old she was. I wanna say 13 or even 11. She was very young teen. And um, I woke up one day and there was a pair of boots, rubber, like young woman's boots sitting in my dining room, rubber boots. And I'm like, who the hell are these? And I didn't understand it. Like I got freaked out. I'm like, where did these boots come from? They're just sitting in my dining room. I called all my friends that had daughters. I'm like, did you guys drop off a pair of boots at my house or something? Um, I was thinking of my nieces and all my goddaughters. Have they been over to the house and left boots? And I keep a clean house. I woke up. These boots are sitting in the middle of the floor. I couldn't take it over. Ma'am. Fuck. Why, why? I feel like I'm disrespecting my elders anymore because grandmas find something better to do. My grandma knitted and crocheted and did baking and shit. Y'all tiring me out over here. This just seems so fabricated about a shoe story. I'm sorry. I'm being honest. I can't help it. But this seems so far-fetched to try and push a narrative about shoes in Sebastian's case. Again, what does one have to do with another besides you're trying to paint a narrative? Well, the week before, I had had an I mean, unexpected I guess. Know. The people across the street were notoriously insane. And they would have the cops called on them regularly literally in our wonderful little neighborhood we had one i think it's in the water in your neighborhood if i'm being honest i don't think they're the only ones that are insane in your neighborhood it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood a beautiful day in the neighborhood no i don't want to be your neighbor house that was absolutely trying to destroy each other physically they'd get drunk and baseball bats would come out we'd call the cops well one night that past week i went outside to get something and i heard yelling and screaming but i heard two little kids I'm like, oh, crap, they got their grandkids on the weekend when they're going to go nuts. Holy shit. So I hurry over. And I realize it's like very wee hours in the morning, like one, two, maybe three. I don't know. And there stands the two little ones, one's five, one seven. And their backs are to me. They're standing in the front yard. The lights are all on in this house. And I can literally see the silhouettes of absolute all hell breaking loose. I think the lights are on in that house and totally dim in your head. But. So. I called 911, got our local dispatch to come in and take care of them. But rather than put these kids through hell, I knew the mother very, very well. Leather, I have always sucked at crocheting, truthfully. And I do bake a lot. I love it. But crocheting is not my thing. So I brought them into my home and got them tucked in for the night. Well, lo and behold, I had went in my basement and I had found some old shoes that I could put on this child because she had been standing barefoot to return her to her mother because the mother was in town and didn't even know that she was going to have kids, didn't even have shoes with her. <coughs> so the shoes were being returned to me and they sat in the middle of the floor. And I didn't recognize them because they've been years and I wasn't thinking real clear. So shoes matter. A long story, not short. I pulled a Nancy Grace. Okay. The point being, if Sebastian did not make it home from that restaurant and you would like someone or everyone to buy your story that he did make it home from the restaurant all you simply need are his shoes what ma'am law enforcement's timeline law enforcement's timeline i think leather's just giving me shit truthfully i don't know and i don't care i don't don't ever expect me to crochet though because that shit's complicated and not worth my time. Um, but ma'am, 
law enforcement's timeline. Uh, there is nothing to point against what law enforcement is saying that he went missing from his home. That there's just nothing. There is nothing to point to this theory at all. Just wait, it's gonna get worse, y'all. I'm gonna skip through here in a little bit, but this this is some crazy shit, y'all. I can't get down with this. I'm sorry, this is not true grime. This is true grime. This is complete speculation and painting a narrative against the family specifically to villainize Chris and Katie. That's all this is. This is, they have got their teeth into it and are not going to let it go. And they're willing to spin any story into keeping that narrative going. Now we have now established that that was a false dog hit. No. There are no sense. <laughs> I figured. And it makes no sense why Sebastian, who lived there, is not being sensed by the dogs. I I agree with that. So I'm asking this question in hoping that it's right. Is it possible that those shoes were the only thing of Sebastian that came home from the restaurant? Oh Lord, and there, there she goes. So now she is claiming, even though law enforcement has said that he went missing from the house, again, law enforcement has said he went missing from the house, his neighborhood. Now she is trying to put into the universe that he didn't come home, that the shoes were the only thing that returned. Yeah, so he vanished. So again, implying that Katie, because Katie was the last one that saw him and she acknowledges that. So yeah, again, mm-hmm. Because if he didn't leave on foot or with someone, then he's still in the house. And we know that's not true because they've had every kind of, listen to me, more comments are coming in about it's time for the FBI to come in. Not only has the FBI been involved, we have Secret Service involved in this case. Explain to me why. How deep does this go? What the hell is going on that Secret Service is involved in the case? I've never heard of that. Also, so agree with that strange fact. Most of the middle says the and is that all a story? Oh, that's right. Angela Lester. You can all right. We're going to fast forward because she's just, you can see where she's headed with this. But I want you guys to see how far she's going to take this. If you want to watch it again, it's 1111 True Crime. She is brand new to me. We will probably be referring or reviewing her more over here because this is not acceptable in my opinion. I'm going to the fast forwarding to the 36 minute mark. Listen to what she says closely. I want to say thank you guys. Hey, Lucy Lou Who. Like, how could you go out to eat and act like you're living your best life when your child is missing? Who does that sound like for all my people that were here for the Marvon days? How could you go out to eat and say that you're living your best life? Molly. Molly used to say that to Dre all the time. Um, I guess they're not supposed to eat. I guess they're for five weeks. They are supposed to not eat, not shower, not do anything except what social media people claim that they should be doing. It reminds me of Lori Vallow, y'all. It reminds me of Lori Vallow. Everybody else is. It reminds her of Lori Vallow, y'all. Reminds her of Lori Vallow. It's like, oh, this reminds me of that and so and so. And nope, I get Lori Vallow. Mm. I do like just living it up and doing her own thing. Only she's at least, you know, putting on the sad, sad face. So we're making a jump from family who have not been stated by law enforcement that they are responsible for anything here, that they've been cooperative, that they don't suspect file play at this point in time. And now we are jumping to the fact that she reminds you of Lori Vallow because she went out to eat and it was photographed because you assume she's living her best life. Now you are comparing her to a woman that we know murdered, had a hand in murdering her children and other adults in her family. There are so many kids in our cases missing. The only ones I have yet to hear of law enforcement finding one of our missing kids. It's always been the public. Is this the fucking lady with the machines, people? Because this is like, is this? Helen, are you in here? 
Is this the machine lady on a different channel? That voice sounds so familiar. Is this the lady with the machines? Is this WCIA news on a different channel? The voice sounds so familiar to me, but this shit right here is just so far fetched. The public tip. Always. I mean, I tried to rack my brain today. I'm like, when did law enforcement, when's the last time I heard of law enforcement finding a body? What? Wait, what? Law enforcement has never found a body? Oh, you guys don't know who Wicca is in the machines? Oh my God, I got I got so much to introduce you to. What? Hold on, let me go. Let me pull her channel right quick, and we'll go look at it. The voice sounds so familiar, and this Wicca lady is fucking wild. It it very likely is not y'all, but just the. Oh, she's, she's live right now. Oh my God. No, this woman is nuts. Okay. She's got Benny on her thumbnails here. Let me just pull one up. Um, let me see if she's got any shorter videos. Okay. Yeah. Here. This woman does a lot of summer Wells content. This is the Wicca channel that I'm talking about. WCIA news is the channel. She. She's not. Okay. She says, go get summer. Oh, she's, is she not going to talk in this one? I don't want to listen to music. No, she's not going to talk. Hold on. Let me go to her live stream. Hold. Pause. Let's go to her live stream. We'll just listen to her for a second. The same. No, it's not. This just happened to be in Dylan Round's video. No, totally different voice. I already corrected it. But if you don't know who this is, go check this channel out. This is some of the wildest shit you'll ever see. And she has exploited the shit out of Summer Wells' case. If you don't know who this is, it's definitely not her. Voices are different. Just the crazy shit is out there. But this lady is nuttier than nutty. Like... Oh, and that's an understatement of the year. An understatement. Definitely different voices. I corrected myself already, though. That, yeah, no. <laughs> Wear a tinfoil hat and you might not come back from reality there. Okay. Um, let's continue to go a little bit further in this one and then we're going to hop into some more. It's always like the public. You think it sounds like Smiley? Enter Family Studio says, yeah, I was just thinking about Lori Daybell case. Well, and isn't Chad Daybell's case starting or something? Annie D says, I keep wondering if they found his glasses in a place that may implicate one of Her voice sounds so familiar to me and I cannot place it. Appearance. Maybe they did this presser today to see what their next move will be. All right. So another one pushing the theory that law enforcement did that presser just to trick the parents. That's, that's, you get a gold star. You could be right. So what she's saying is, did they try to poke out the fact that the glasses were found to see what the next actions are of a guilty party, right? To see what the reaction would be if the guilty party knew that. So factually, those are not Sebastian's glasses and have nothing to do with Sebastian's case. Um, and that has been listed by the TBI. And I do want to make a note. Um, when it is rumors, I tell you it's rumors. And this is 100% a rumor until otherwise proven. So rumor has it, whisper has it, that the locals had their own group while searching for Sebastian and trying to keep alert on everything. And it was local to the, to the town of Hendersonville where Sebastian Rogers went missing. And allegedly, there was a false alarm of someone being found, a body being found, like a false alarm, like it wasn't. And allegedly, rumor has it, and that's all it is. Don't make it more unless you have proof. But rumor has it that Katie's simple uh, question was, did they have their shoes on? Now, that could be just a complete lie that somebody... These fuckers in the shoes, are they ever going to let it go? Yeah. But that bothers me. Lee McKenna says, well, maybe Katie... Was you know what bothers me, ma'am? 
the fact that you are putting out here complete wild speculation, complete wild speculation, comparing her to Lori Daybell, comparing this situation to Lori Daybell, comparing Katie, who has not been arrested or charged for anything in the disappearance of her son, Sebastian Rogers, you are comparing her to a woman that absolutely had a hand in murdering her children. The jump is extreme and I'm sorry, it's sickening. But that, my friends, is just a small little glimpse at 1111 True Crime. Now, everybody need a palate cleanse. Okay, ready? Because you're all going to need fucking helmets on. Get your goddamn helmets on. And if you don't take me seriously on this one, you're going to need to. Because um, I don't even know where we're going, except for back to this. What we've got here is failure to communicate. We are headed to the land of no return. By the way, crime sleuth, and this is all under fair use. This is based on my opinion of the bullshit that you put out here. If you intentionally attempt to strike me because I am giving my commentary on your public statements, we'll just handle it as we do. Um, but you had a lot to say last night. I addressed you a little bit last night in a short little sweet video. But now we're going to actually let everybody hear what you had to say. Again, for those of you that don't know, she is blocked over here. I have no use or time for her circle talk back and forth BS. I had no idea what the hell was even popping off when I got alerted to go check this out. But this gets a little insane. It is completely... Picking on other people too in the same live. It's disgusting. And I know that she likes to strike people, y'all. I'm not concerned. I will rebuttal it. I will do what we have to do. This is this is allowed. When you put stuff out here on a public platform, people are allowed to commentate under fair use. This is just how it goes. So it is what it is. She can threaten, stomp her feet all she wants. We'll just handle it as is. Bear with me. Thank the title from this live, this was last night. It's a four hour live. We will not be watching the entire thing. It says, when they choose hating over helping. Get it to stop at the right spot. We're starting at the 19 minute mark. Show the worst of the worst on it. Buckle up, Y'all are going to need them. Now, on my second channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video. What couch? Are you in the wrong chat, hon? Oh, I'm Hang on, I pulled the wrong one over here. Hang on. Let me pull her chat up because this is hysterical, too. There we go. This is even better. And sorry, guys. You know, we usually when I do a live, I'm you know better prepared. <laughs> better prepared with your bullshit that you spew. I mean, that's my opinion for this kind of crap. So <laughs> revival. This one right here. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Look who she pulls up. It's Deets on the street chasing and gavel. Oh, no. This is who's doing it. No, they're not. No, ma'am. No. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that Avery. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Avery called caused me a lot of shit, and I have all the receipts on that too. I would suggest to you probably drop the receipts that you've been saying about Avery because if there's anything I know out here, it's receipts or it didn't fucking happen. And you made some accusation and Granny's watching about Avery, and I'm not a fan of Avery. Everybody knows that that's been around here. I knew her from Facebook days and involving herself in the Diana Ricky situation. That's a whole other thing. 
But I actually agree with what Avery did here because this is a missing child. And even though I don't think that calling the TBI and all of that stuff, this is unvetted information that should have been corrected. And the TBI did. We'll get into all the more details and stuff. And I'll show you the TBI site and stuff to kind of walk it through. I had to go check and see what the hell had happened because <clears throat> I had been watching Deets and joining in in the conversation, like following along with what was happening. And then I checked out to cook dinner and get my kids to bed and everything like that. And next thing I know, all hell's popping off. And I'm like, wait, what? What happened here? So I had to go hurry up and catch up. Do you know who that really is? Do you know who she is? I want to look into her. So. I'm speeding her up. Can't do it. Oh, my God. Okay. So. The interview with the ex-wife, the original, is on Trev Times channel. I didn't reach out to this family. So feel sure I did not reach out to this family in any way, shape, or form. So Avery's the one who, right after my dad died, I had to take some time off of YouTube. While I was gone, she changed her name to Crime Sleuthy. Then, I can do a whole live on this, y'all. She went all over YouTube saying some vile, vile shit. I've got the videos. There's a whole channel that's private. It's got all of it. Crime Sleuthy. While I was gone. Do you know there's mutual friends who knew about this? Didn't even tell me. So when I came back onto YouTube, Crime Sleuthin, my name, all of the vile things that she did using that name, she changed her name to something else. She's had several, several names. People always say, or you know, these haters will say, oh, there's that Crime Sleuthin. She's changed her name several times. No, I haven't. I had my name the first month that I had my channel and I changed it to this. And I've been this always since. Okay, so that debunks the bullshit about the Michael Long situation that you will get into later on in this live, like down the road into three hours, something like that. But that right there proves to me that you weren't around for the Michael Long case. Just a quick point out. So she says that she changed her name a month after she started this channel. I wasn't even on YouTube. I haven't even been on YouTube for a channel creator for two years yet. It'll be two years in July. And I knew who she was. So if she changed her name a month after, that would mean she wasn't around for the Michael Long days because that would have been in the last year and a half, almost two years that she changed her name from Fueled by Coffee and Crime to this crime sleuthing. So that debunks her bullshit about the Michael Long stuff right out of her own mouth because the name change, she says, was right after she started her channel, a month after she started her channel. She might have been around as a sub, but wasn't under that name. And I don't believe her anyways on that. Not one bit. Never had any other names. Never had. See, and she says never had any other names. Okay, hold on. Quick palette cleanser. Now we got another buddy here. This one is the little rescue kitty. Just, ah, <laughs> smush. Say hi. There's Kenzie's rescue baby. She's deciding she's going to pull a kiki lately. She's been like all over everything. But now she's up here on my desk too. These damn cats. That's what you're seeing. If you're seeing stuff like walk by, I have a million cats. It seems like. Okay, back to no, this. No, I wasn't. Yeah. Can I just leave, please, before I have to kick you out? Revival, I'm pretty sure she did. People in my chat were telling me to send it to him. And I said, well, if somebody wants to either forward it for me or get me his email, I'll send it. He had every right because Todd Terrell was telling me that he's still talking to him. So he had a right to know what this guy said about his child. But anyway, so back to Avery for a moment. I know everybody. I have lots of information about some of these people that y'all look up to. You have no idea. I've been nice. I've been really nice. I haven't exposed anything, but I'm telling you, I'm tired of it. Deep breaths, deep breaths. So I picked up the video and initial response was fine. And then I started getting lots of hate after they struck up a live. Bitch, show it. 
Show it because your chat's not even fucking moving. Oh, oops. I went full screen again. Uh, where's the hate that you're getting? Where? Show us. It is directly because of that live that I started getting hate on my channel. Everything was fine before then. Calling you out on your bullshit is not getting hate, bitch. First of all. And yeah, I'm going to call you that because you call us that later. Okay. I don't owe you shit. I don't, you don't deserve respect. Mm -mm. Miss me with the BS. Nobody cares. But by the way, Dietz is way too nice. They're all super nice. They don't call you names. That's me. That's me. And I didn't even say what you really are. So quit. First, if you put a photo on anything. But now I have been having to constantly monitor my channel because of all the hate. Const and I don't have time for that shit. Y'all need. Man, I'd love to see her handle the anti-KJ community. <laughs> you have to constantly monitor your channel for the hate. At least you're getting engagement. At least you're getting some sort of activity over there. You need to grow up. If you're not going to help, the least you can do is not hurt. If you're not going to help, at least <laughs> get out of here. You're the one out here contacting families, inserting yourself in fucking cases. Shut up. If anybody has any questions for me about anything, ask me. My email is right there on my channel. Come into any of my chats and say, hey, I would like to talk to you about something. I'll talk to anybody, anybody. <laughs> but you need to come to me with respect. <laughs> if anybody felt that I had done something wrong. <laughs> First of all, you ain't no shit from anybody. Nobody owes you respect, period. That's it. Nobody owes me respect. We're grown-ass goddamn adults on the interwebs, okay? Let's call it what it is. Whoo, honey, take a few more deep breaths. You need to ground yourself and remember what you're doing. Not one of those weak bitches <laughs> bothered to reach out to me. No, that doesn't sell. Got to strike up a live. Bitch about it. I have been called the worst names just, I mean, just today. You can pick any day of the week now. There's a whole band of them. And you do realize that every single thing that you put on my channel, it gets sent to my email. I have a copy of every, all of this vile hate and abuse and harassment. You can be held responsible for that. When you start up a live and you go after somebody and you get your, your followers and your viewers to go and take hate to somebody's channel. And I got timestamps to prove when it started. If you don't think I won't file a lawsuit, you're, you're barking up the wrong tree, sis, because I will. Wait, you think that people are sending people to your channel because people are coming over there and questioning you on the bullshit that you're doing. You're trying to pin that back on somebody calling you out on your bullshit that you put out here publicly. Uh, that's not how that works. You're responsible for the own action, your own actions, your own actions. That's it. That's all. I ain't responsible for a bunch of adults up decide to question you that's not on me that's not on deets that's not on any of us not at all try again <laughs> maybe it isn't for me. i don't know all i know but that also points out that you're responsible for all the bullshit that's happened to the united cajun navy right in your theory no is deets and chasing and jenny you need to grow the hell up they're not the only ones doing it on this live so you can see where they were going through my video. I don't want to make it about, I, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't want to show what they showed because that's not proper for this type of a live, but this is not about that. It's about- You don't want to show that they're calling you out on factual things that they found? The hate. Seriously. If you choose hate over helping, there is something seriously wrong with you. And you need to get off of YouTube and call a therapist. They're on the screen. They're on the screen right now. This one right here is the Mean Girls leader. Mean Girls, you guys are the Mean Girls. Deets is the leader of the Mean Girls. This one right here. Is that the name of your band? Is it the Mean Girl Band? The Meanie Weenies. In my day, we'd call her. Well, no, I'm not gonna say it. Just vile, just absolutely vile. All of her little um, voices for the voiceless. When did she get up there? Um, first of all, if you know anything about anything, voices isn't part of that band. 
She's not a part of the Mean Girl Band. Wrong again. I mean, I won't even be on a panel with her. I've made it clear, and that has been respected. Now I'm going to need the Meanie Weenies to make a whole song. Deets has to be the lead singer. I can see Tracy on the drums. Gavel playing the guitar. They're, they've got a band, according to this one. I don't know what their name is. I just nicknamed them the Meanie Weenies because she's calling them the Mean Girls. This one right here? Obsessed with me. She can't go a day without talking about me on YouTube and hurting my reputation and lying about me. Hurting your reputation? Knock, knock, ma'am. Anybody home? Well, that's questionable. Um, you've hurt your own reputation. That's not on anybody else. Not a day. She can't go a day. I had no idea that this live was going on until a flood of hate started hitting my channel and so I knew something was up. Bullshit, you didn't. Bullshit, you're... And I know where it's coming from. It's, it's either going to be this channel or this channel. Or nonsense, because she did the same shit earlier, too. I got an honorable mention. I'm not a part of the Mean Girl Band either, but I like some of the Mean Girl Band. However, honorable mention, um, tell me you're not watching again. Say, say it again. Let's try that again. You didn't know, though, right? So I know where it comes from, so I know where to check real quick. I don't hate watch them. I don't watch them. <laughs> I never watch them. I only watch if it's about me. Document the harassment. That's all we can do, right? You can report them. It doesn't really do a lot. Document the harassment. Why harassment? But I got something else planned now. Oh. Mark my words. Oh. As soon as I have the money, which should be soon. Oh. Oh, can't give a date on that though, right? That's going to be, it's going to be soon. I am filing lawsuits. Put that in, in the meantime, I will continue to document. You guys have no right to come after people on YouTube. No. We're so scared right now. The, mm, talking about your behavior that you've publicly displayed is not coming after you either. I think you need to probably get a dictionary and read some definitions. No, right. If you don't like what I put on my channel, don't come here. I haven't lied to my followers. My subscribers I haven't lied one time to any of you. I haven't. These two right here claim that I scam the mother of a murder victim. These two scummy people right here. I, I, I'm not sure that that's what was said, though. Actually, I, I'm not sure. I think there was a whole discussion of leading up to what you did in that case. And how you kind of maneuver things that weren't very ethical or how you went about it was not really the right thing to do. And voices went right along with it. Again, voices is not part of that band. Can you get it straight? I know you're attempting to do this like hate bond deflection type bullshit here and pin people that don't like each other against you. Just stop. You look like a fool because you can't even get the band members right. She's the biggest tattletale you'll ever see on YouTube. Uh, the biggest. And uh, absolutely. I mean, this, this is obsessive. This is absolutely obsessive. Ladies, stop. Just stop. I got to take off my jacket. It's getting too hot. <sighs> stop in the name of love before she has a coronary. You see, there's something else you need to keep in mind. Deets, Melissa, all of you guys that are doing this, I have told you, I'm not supposed to get stressed out. <sighs> this is where I get mad. This is what I don't do. This is what we're not going to do. This is what I talk about. You are not going to sit here and attempt to blame Deets or anybody else, any of the rest of us that you're lumping all together, which is ridiculous. You were on fucking Britney J's panel. That's why you got called out over here. I have never even reviewed you on your own channel. Here you go. This is the first time. Okay. Woo -woo -woo. Good for you. Anyways, um, we're not going to come out here as a grown ass fucking adult who is on a public platform who interjects themselves in missing children's cases and missing persons cases and tragedies. You involve yourself like a fucking tampon in those places. And then you're going to try and twist and deflect onto your poor, this poor, that, and try to point fingers. We're not going to do that, but I'm going to let you go to make you look like the fool you are. Most people would be nice and let 
the skirt over and wouldn't call you out on this, but this is where I draw the line. This is straight up bullshit, deflection, and manipulation. Overly stressed out. Do you know that I'm not going to be able to go to my doctor's appointment tomorrow and get my ketamine infusion because of you fucking bitches? Because of you. They won't give you ketamine. Okay, first of all, you sure could have done that because you spent two hours over there on Granny's watching this morning and trying to twist and turn a narrative. So what did we do to hold you back from this? And this right here, my ma'am, I'm not going to give medical advice, but you might want to know what the fuck you're talking about before you come on here and start spinning shit that isn't even factual. Okay? Because I'll let you spew your medical shit like this, but it's not factual. Infusion. If your blood pressure is too high, and if your enzymes, hey, they, they did my blood work, and I had my blood pressure checked again. And guys, I normally have very low, stable blood pressure. You cannot have too high of blood pressure and get a ketamine infusion. Ketamine infusion is the only thing that helps me with my pain for MS. It's the only thing that helps. And I bet I've been in a lot of pain. And I need, I don't take anything else. I don't take any kind of pain killers or anything because I can't because I do ketamine infusion. So you bitches are hurting me medically, physically, and emotionally destroying me. Um, that's a pretty hefty allegation. Pretty hefty allegation to put on people. And I, I have asked you to stop. I have begged you to stop. I have come up on your panel and I've screamed at you to stop. And you won't. So I ask again, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? No, the question should be, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, juror. Absolutely. I don't care what she's saying on her channel. She, this is a big fat lie. And I have the text messages. I have. I don't know. <clears throat> this is gross. You don't tell. A victim. You don't tell a victim. She was removing comments at this time I was in here during the live. Anything like that. You don't tell the victim, calling herself a victim. Again, missing the point. This is why you're a problem. Because you constantly are trying to make yourself a victim. You want to be a victim. You insert yourself in the victim's tragedies. You want to be the victim. Fucking wacko. You just don't. I am Shit. one of the strongest people. Very strong. I can take a lot. I can take a lot. And I have taken a lot. But if you were such a... I'm the strong one. They're the snowflakes. She's the strong one. We're snowflakes. She's here crying and sniffling because she was reviewed for the bullshit that she's doing. I, I'm trying to be nice. It's hard. This 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 crazy lady right here. Oh wow. D doing it again earlier. That's what they started with. See? They started their live about me. Freaking ridiculous. God. They claimed <laughs> they claimed that I uh, spliced the phone call and I edited myself out. There's nothing edited on that phone call. Oh god, I heard a click. Fucking phone call is not edited. Your snowflakes. I'm the tough one. I have put up with your abuse for weeks, weeks now. You guys are the weak ass bitches over there. You can't come talk to me like a real woman. Huh? Who's on live crying right now saying that you can't go get a ketamine infusion because your fucking blood pressure, which is a blatant lie. Yeah, Kiki, tell her. Who the fucking is the one that has no backbone? Stop doing stupid shit and you'll stop getting called out on it. That's the simplest answer. Stop doing stupid shit and you wouldn't get called out on it. You have and by the way, you did edit the call. You absolutely did. And you only played selective pieces of it. That's here nor there. You have to fire the live about somebody who you know. I mean, <sighs> what the fuck? There's just, there's something wrong with, there's something broken in somebody who would do that. No, absolutely not. No editing whatsoever. They claim that I edited the, uh, the calls that I released with, from BHP as well. No, that's not what happened. 
Oh, oh, this is my favorite part. So those of you that were back around way early on when she pulled the edited calls with BHB and dropped them, listen to the spin of that. At all. I sat through a live and played the entirety <sighs> on the live of the phone calls. The whole thing. Come on, buddy. Because I was accused of that. All I had done at that point before the one that got released by somebody who wasn't supposed to release, she'd asked me to hear what um, BHB had said. And so I sent her that clip of it. It was supposed to be only for that one person, right? She went and blasted it on her YouTube channel immediately. Within two minutes of me emailing it to her, she was live with it. So I never sent her anything else. But uh... So in other words, the fact that you released a phone call to somebody it's that person's fault, though, because they released a phone call that you recorded and then held on to. See, you're failing to miss the point here. Stop fucking recording people's private phone calls and holding on to them until it fucking suits your need to turn on somebody. You were buddies with BHB. You recorded phone calls and then you twisted when things didn't go right and released things to people that didn't like BHB intentionally. But now it's not your fault that you recorded a phone call and weaponized that phone call against BHB. And I don't fucking like BHB. But still, that's some grimy ass shit. You continue to miss the big picture here. You're the one out here recording phone calls and then twisting and turning the narrative. And it's never your fault, though, right? It's never your fault that you're sending out bits and pieces of phone calls to this person and this person and they release them. It's their fault. That's where that rumor started. Yes, that was a clip from a call, specifically something that she wanted to hear. She said she would not share it and then immediately went live. You really can't trust nobody on here. It's crazy. <laughs> you can't trust nobody on here. Fails to miss the point that she's the one recording phone call after phone call after phone call. This is her historical pattern of behavior. Okay. Say it ain't so, but you're so fucking trustworthy, aren't you, crime sleuthin? I know exactly who I can trust on here. And it's these people right here. They will share your private text messages and your private emails with other people. So watch out. Ma'am. Earth to anybody in there. You record private phone calls. It's the fucking same thing, if not worse, in my opinion, to record somebody's private fucking phone calls and release them. It's the same thing as private messages being released. What? Melissa Jade, thank you so much. And it is definitely her all the way around. Like, um... Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Sorry. Um... You might think that they're okay. You might think you're at the cool click. But it'll come. It'll come. One day, all of your stuff will be blasted on a live. Watch. Hey, Ellen, how are you? AKA meaning if you get in a phone call with crime sleuth and just know for a fact that it's going to be recorded and she's going to release it and weaponize it whenever she needs to. So that's because of that rumor. I had to strike it alive and play all of the entire phone calls, nothing out of it. So you see the problem wasn't me. It was the person who put out the clip that was, you know, just clips. So <laughs> the problem's never you as a crime sleuth, but it's never you. You're not the problem. Never. So I thought that that would correct it, right? It didn't correct it. What they do is they'll stick to, as Melissa herself has said, or was it Deets? I think it was Deets. Said they always remember the um, accusation. Nobody ever remembers the retraction. As I said, I <clears throat> I know exactly who I can trust. And you're looking at it right now in chat. She knows. She knows me well. So I am asking one last, last time. Oh, tell us. For Deets, Melissa Jade, Voices for the Voiceless, and Nonsense. Please leave me alone. That's me. That's me. Honorable mention. I got an honorable mention with Mean Girls Band. I'm like their backup singer. Actually, the backup dancer. I'm like the Fupa Palooza over here. Anyways, um, Honey Boo Boo Child, I've given you a little, little, little taste of attention over here. I reviewed you on panel with Brittany J. That's it. That's all. Asking me to leave you alone is like probably the last thing you should have done because it just makes me want to pay attention to you more. That's it. 
I could turn you into cartoons, all sorts of fun stuff. I'm telling you, I can't handle it. That's not my fault. That's yours. And uh, before you start weaponizing health conditions, you might want to read the fucking room. It is okay for a human being to come to you and say, you are hurting me. You are harassing me. Please stop. So if somebody harass- comes to you and tells you that, shouldn't you just say, you know what? I think we need to just back off. Just back off. No, because when you openly lie and continue to fabricate things and make this big old production and try to blame me for your health things, that's the last thing you should probably fucking do or blame anybody else. That is just factually stating what you have been doing out here. You should probably stop doing that and then you wouldn't get any attention. But attention seeking is exactly what you're wanting. You've been begging for fucking attention. Now that you're getting it, you're crying about it. Come on, be a big girl. Pull up your granny panties and sit on down. All right, let's go. Thank you, Lacey Ann. My pain levels have gotten higher than I can handle. Oh, Lord bless us all. Holy water for all. Holy water. We all need it. Cold Case Crystal says, if you have to say the problem wasn't me, the problem was probably you. Also, is she calling Chasing Voices for the Voiceless? I'm not sure who she's confusing here. She does go on to play a clip of Voices for the Voiceless and actually has voices on there. But I'm not sure how she's put this band together in her head. I'm not sure how the band members, like who's the guitar player, who's the drummer, who's the backup singers. Like Deets is definitely the lead singer. We know that. Um, Chasing might be security, actually. She might not even be like a band member. She might not play the drums. She might just be the bouncer. I I don't know. We're going to need details, Cram Sleuthin. Can you give us a diagram? Can you draw us a whiteboard? That would be wonderful. Because none of us, quite understand. And this is what you're starting to sound like. AirPod warning. I haven't got to use my fucking button since Molly was on here. This is kind of fun again. Thank you so much for the gifted membership, Shabani. Welcome to the cabana for those of you that are here. And thank you so much, Cold Case Crystal, for the super chat. That was super sweet. Pepper, if everyone is hurting her, why would she keep the shit going? She is here because she thrives on attention. Absolutely. Leave her to Bieber again. Great live last night. Annie, then stop being a sea hag and focus on your health. Absolutely. Hey, Claus. Freak snake, freak snake, freak snake. You're the drums because you're allowed. Okay, Melissa Jade's the drummer. Deets is the lead singer. Well, she says you're the leader, Deets, so maybe you're a security. Hey, Brie. Uh, no, I just got an honorable mention. I just come in rocking the, I'm just like the backup dancer, I guess, that strums across showing my fupa and then I just exit the stage at the left. I don't know. Please don't dox the band members. <laughs> You'll be a groupie. Oh, Lord bless it. <laughs> you don't know how painful this is for somebody. Oh, Lord. When... When your stress level, when my stress level goes too high, it affects my heart. It affects all of my joints. I have constant headaches. I can't sleep. And it affects me. My tremors increase. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of extra um, semicolons and A's because my tremors are up. It's my, most of my tremors are in my, either my index finger or my pinky. But um, I get too upset. I get esophageal tremors, which closes up my throat. It hurts kind of like a heart attack, y'all. I feel like you're having a heart attack. Do you like doing that to somebody? I'm just going to say one thing. Shut the fuck up talking about heart patients. I have a pacemaker and I don't sit on this internet and fucking blame anybody for my heart not working right. Okay? Shut the fuck up. Most of us have things that nobody knows we're battling with. We all have struggles. We all have health issues. We ain't out here blaming everybody else for our stress levels and doing shit and calling us out on our poor behavior over your own public statements. Don't do it. Sit the fuck down. Not an arena you want to go into because I'm trying to be kind to you right now. But if you continue to push this avenue, I will rip you to fucking shreds. Mark my words. Absolutely. I will give you a tongue lashing that you won't come back from because this is sick manipulation. And you will not do this to people who know what the fight is like. We don't weaponize our shit and blame other people. That's called health. I have no sympathy for you right now. Zero sympathy for you because this is disgusting and vile. You are a goddamn grown ass adult. Fucking act like one. Do you, do you fucking like it? Do you like doing this to me? 
just because you don't like me because I supported Michael Long when he had his when he had tried to help his little girl escape being essayed. And you were over there supporting mom and her abusive boyfriend. You sicko. Yeah, that's how far back I know deeds. Uh, and that's not factual because you just stated in the beginning of this live that we all caught that you had the fueled by coffee and crime for a month before you changed the name, meaning that you weren't on here during the long case. So that's a fucking blatant lie unless you're lying about having another profile that you were involved in that case with. But guess what? Deeds wasn't. I hardly know Deeds, but I've listened to her enough to know that that's not where she came from. That's not where she came from. And how gross to defend what he did. I mean, hey. That's how far back I know her. No, you don't. That's a I lie. I just didn't know her as deeds. That's a lie. I knew her by her other name. See, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a snake like these people. Fucking this bitch continues to take bits and pieces of things that people are saying that don't like deeds or anybody else and twist them around to fit her fucking narrative. That is not goddamn factual. I already knew who she was long before other people doxed her. No, you didn't. I'm a decent human. I didn't say it. I didn't say her name. I didn't let out that I knew who she was. You ain't a fucking decent human being. She said her own goddamn name, you idiot. She was. I tried to let the past go because I'm like, oh, she's on YouTube. Let's see what she's doing. And this is why you have no credibility. Zero, zilch, none. Because you're just a fucking blatant ass liar. Well, I mean, I mean, they're blocked, right? They can't come and chat in my chat. You know, I I don't speak to them. I stay away from them. But blocking them does not help when they have their own channel like this. This you can't block. It's called commentary. It's called criticism over your goddamn actions. Stop it. Ah, it really does work that way because we actually had an agreement about what was that a couple weeks ago where um, another creator had us up and we, we all agreed we were going to just walk away, leave each other alone. And I didn't say a word, not a word. One entire day went by one entire day and they were already right back at it. What, it didn't even last the full 24 hours. And I was serious. I would have never mentioned them again in my life. But they went right back to it the very next day. Oh my and God. And they do this every single day. No, that's not factual either. They were actually reviewing all the interviews over Sebastian Rogers' parents' interviews that they have given. And then it got brought to the attention that she had done certain things with the phone call. And then they started sleuthing into that and it just took on a life of its own. But no, it wasn't even, had nothing to do with you in the beginning. If you would stop involving yourself in active cases and fucking shit up and doing snake ass shit, people wouldn't call you out. In the morning, in the afternoon, at night, these people, I don't know if they have jobs. I don't know if they have kids. I don't know what's going on in their personal life, but it's clearly all YouTube. How can you sit on YouTube day and night and hate on people, not just me, but how can you spend so much of your time and energy sitting on YouTube, sitting on your ass? You're not helping anybody or anything. You're hurting people. And you know what? If the family of that victim saw your live, they would be on the floor bawling, bawling their head off for what you just put on your channel, you low life piece of shit deep. And Melissa and Jenny and Chasing. You're all vile and voices. Um, no, actually, they were attempting to get to the bottom of the shit that you were releasing. See, you happened to release a portion of a phone call that talked about a search and rescue organization that potentially you made it look like they might know where the child's body is at. And it got back to the dad on a live stream. Terry Lynn's live stream. And they were trying to process all the information, what was actually factually happening in the phone call that you released and weaponized and then went on a panel tour with. That ain't on them. Oh my God. There's a there's a there's a fine line. Well, it's a clear line, but it's a fine line between drama and harassment. See, right here. I'm going to highlight this shit right here. Look. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, though. You, you kind of made me laugh. I appreciate it. Shit, I called you for you my coffee and you crying. Uh, 
um, I showed the call with the in the editing software that you could see it was the entire phone call. Go watch the live. So again, go watch Deets if you want to see the breakdown of how they smooth this out. Go watch Deets. Deets and the girls. Let me just say, when they find something an inconsistency, they're going to write it out and figure out for the end of it. That's why Deets has credibility. When she does cases like this, it's it's not good for you because they're going to get to the bottom of it when you lie over and over again. Hey, this is what they do right here. This is her haters, her, her little fans. Oh, my God. This is what they are right here. I had that channel name for three or four weeks. Three or four weeks. Two years ago. And they still say that crap right there to me all the time in chats. Right there. That's their go-to. You changed your channel name. Ma'am, it wasn't two years ago. Again, I remind you, I haven't even been on the internet for two years. And you had that name when I first knew who you were. That's the name I blocked you under. You claim, again, in the beginning of this that we listened to, that you had only been on here for a month at that point in time when you changed the name. Then you also claimed that you have never had another name besides those two on YouTube. You're the fucking liar. Once again, you lie, you twist, you turn, you try to deflect on everything else but your own actions. Do you know how many channels change their name on a regular basis? How many people change their name on a regular basis? Never once. Who cares? Grow up. Have you seen all the chats I've been having to delete in here? But the thing is, I'm screen recording. I'm getting them before I delete them. And it's all documented. Every time, every ounce of cake that you're sending over here, Dates, is getting documented and you are responsible. You are legally responsible. You are the one who needs to stop. Legally responsible. Let me guess. You're a paralegal. Went to law school also. Know all the laws. Going to represent yourself in the lawsuits that you're threatening to file. Um, I think you might want to sit back and get a little dose of reality here because I, I'm not sure what's affecting your brain, but that's, that's not how this works. Just stop. I did nothing wrong, but put out a video about a missing baby boy. Wait, what? I, wait, what? I, I came back to YouTube first saying that the deal was off and then claimed that it was their fault. What are you talking about? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. One comment. Slow down. <laughs> Whoa. I really don't know what this is. I have no idea what you're talking about. As long as you're respectful, I'm not going to delete any chats. I don't have a problem with what you just said, but I just I have no clue what you're talking about. So break it into more chats or something. I have no clue what you're talking about. This live that you're looking at was created, started about me. And it's, it's what, how far are we into it now? Four hours, you guys. Four no, 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 no. Be factual here. What actually took place was she was doing another live stream, going over the interviews of the parents of Sebastian Rogers. Then it got mentioned by, I think her name was Eve. If I'm correct, I was there for bits and pieces of it throughout the day. Eve came up after noticing something with this phone call that you had released on multiple different panels. Then it, they started to sleuth and look a little bit further into the phone call. This never started about you. The reason for the second live stream is because she got vagina bomb. She got some coochie in her screen. That's it. So stop trying to make it something it wasn't because it was just a continuation after she got coochie bombed. That was it. That's why this was started. It wasn't started to go after you. The entire live stream was started on a whole other issue. And that was what was being discussed. And then this is the second portion because, again, like I said, she had coochie on her screen. Four freaking hours. She sliced and, she sliced and diced a phone call with Todd, UCN. No, I didn't. Oh, here's the glare, who I also knew from this other long case, him and her, her friends. <laughs> She's claiming that Deets and the glare had a relationship over the long case. 
Does she have Dietz and Queen confused? But Queen and the Glare were never friends, I don't think, but they were all involved back in those days. Does she... Oh my God. She can't really be this stupid, can she? I am serious. Now there were a few people in here who were trying to talk some sense into the situation, but they got just, they, they'll beat you down really quick if you try to say anything. Four hours, you guys. I'm not watching the shit, but I am keeping their stupid asses on my screen. Meanwhile, this live stream that we're watching right now of hers is four hours and 10 minutes. So you can show exactly, you can, I want you to know. People keep telling me, oh, just ignore it. Just ignore it. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Loving the laundry. Ah, you might be onto it. She might be thinking of Annie Elise. She might have Deets and Annie confused. Yeah, that. She's confusing somebody with Deets, though, because Deets has said numerous times where she came from. All of that stuff. I've heard it. So I OK, so now. I came back to YouTube. First thing the deal was on. I did not say that. I did not say that. So the <laughs> they're slick. They're slick. Okay. Master manipulators, master gaslighters. That's what they are. I got the band name, y'all. I just figured it out. Ready for it? The master meanies. We had a deal to leave each other alone. The next day, I because you're masters of all. Might as well be the master meanie. Shared on my community post. I'll show you. It was actually the next night. Went to my community post and I shared the following. Had nothing to do with them. I'll show you. No, it was after that. Wasn't it? Sometimes I go back and change certain things. Here it is. Okay. So I had shared these two. Now, no, it was this one, these two. So, and then I, I was like, you know, seeking out fun stuff and I was taking a break, you know, as far as, you know, making videos and stuff. I was taking a day or two to, you know, pull it myself. And I, I had said, oh well, shit, she's posting harsh reality too. I'm sorry. I'm not a harsh fan after he's sticking up for Ryan up church saying Kylie Rodney isn't real. What about them? These two posts had nothing to do <sighs> with these people. Nothing. Debunk the funk. This was oh. not me breaking the deal. Yes. But if you go over to. No, this is read my post. This was not about them. This was not about them. And I never said that. Exactly. Yeah. Right, Roxy. It was so stupid. It was really stupid. But I'm, I am, I'm interested always in finding a peaceful resolution, so people can just walk away from each other, and leave each other alone. There's, there's a couple of these people that I've never come after in any way, shape, or form. But I'm telling you, if I keep getting poked, I'm gonna have to put some stuff out, including all of my stuff on Avery if she doesn't shut her stupid mouth, because she ain't got no room to talk. I'm telling you, none. Wait until you see all the stuff that she did under the name Crime Sleuthy. I think she's so smart. When I came back, she was supposedly my friend. I supported her when another creator was harassing her. I supported her. Talked to her for many times through that. And during the... Uh, God, I hate even going back into that shit, but there are some problems there. This whole time that I was being supportive of her, she never once told me, Yeah. hey, while you were off YouTube... I went by the name Crime Sleuthy and I was all over YouTube saying vile stuff. And now this is that's this is some of this hate that you're getting is because of that because they think that that's you. I just got to say that she's shown no proof that that's factual what she's saying about Avery. Because the name is very similar. And then she totally changed her name again. I still get asked about that. But I could show you the entire channel with all of it there. Show I it. I want to say that. Show it. It's there. I know where it's at. Show it. So she has some nerve. To completely stab me in the back and join these people. Just totally joined in on it. Like it is okay. After everything that she's been through. Avery's the banjo player. And I supported her through everything. And you know what? You can ask a few of these people who are. Avery, go ahead. Ask a few of our mutual friends. If I knew what you had done while I was gone. Ask them. Lady V, Will B. They knew. You're hanging out with them right now. Ask them. Did Debbie know that I was crying sleuthy while she was away? Did she know about all that vile stuff that I did using that name? Yup. 
did I ever confront you, Avery? Did I ever expose you? Did I ever cuss you out or call you names or refuse to be with you on a panel? Did it? No, I wasn't sure about it. I respected the channel that we were. I, I believe you guys. I I said what I thought you think about Avery in the beginning. I yeah. I'm just kind of staying out of this though with that. That's a whole. We're on. I never brought it up. He said there. I never told anybody. Um, I do sometimes, Marietta. Um, that's one of the other problems with these clip reaction channels. They'll they'll watch for you to be in a vulnerable moment mm. where you're sad or upset, and they'll screenshot it. They'll pause you at just the right moment. I'll show you. They'll pause you at just the right moment to make you look your worst. Then they will take that. Does she go on camera? Does Crime Sleuth ever go on camera? Anybody that watches her? No, I've never seen her anything behind an app or she's always behind an avatar anytime I've ever seen her. And put it all over the place like that. That's the kind of crap that they do. So just as an example, do you think that that's a very mature or kind thing to do to somebody? Whose screenshot is that? That looks like your screenshot. And this isn't me. This is what somebody sent me. They thought it was funny. <laughs> so you're, you're condemning people who are taking screenshots like that and then sending them to them, sending them to you. And they thought it was funny and you just giggled about it, but you're trying to condemn the crime sleuth and shut the fuck up. You're giving me a goddamn headache. And yes, you're responsible for my ailment. This time you are, okay? You're a fucking headache and you might be a pain in my ass too, all right? Calm workman's comp, God damn it. OSHA on the phone. Fuck out of here. So I used to always be on camera. What? The but I learned because of these haters that that's what they will do to you. You have no idea, y'all. No idea. Um... I've been called the Hulk, Mrs. Doubtfire, every name under the sun. I have been lied on. I have had my other Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You can laugh it off. You can ignore it. But at some point, it stops being freaking funny. It stops being something that you can just ignore. You can't block an entire channel. Because all of the hate that they're producing comes right over to the victim. To me, I am currently a victim of cyberbullying and harassment. Oh. Okay, ma'am. This is when we're going to have a real talk, real conversation here. You're fucking true crime, right? You claim to be true crime. Truthfully, you are uh, beneath boy for all I care. Um, But you are not a victim. You are not a victim in any way, shape or form. You insert yourself into constant issues. You continue to seek attention. You continue to record phone calls on people. You continue to try and take away from the victims and their tragedies and make it about you. It's not about you. Stop acting like this is about you. You're trying to take the focus off of what should have been Sebastian and put it on you. You're so involved in seeking attention that you continue to try and put yourself as a victim. No, 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 not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not, no, no. You are not a victim of shit besides your own goddamn behavior. You're an adult. It's time to own your shit. Just putting that out there. And it needs to stop. So again, I have never come after them myself. What are you going to come after? Oh, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm going through a lot medically. So um, some days it's hard for me to, I get dizzy. So it's hard for me to hold my arms up to blow dry my hair and then straighten it because I have very, very thick hair. So some days are harder than others with MS and um Sometimes my hands don't want to work and sometimes I'll just get flat dizzy, very exhausted from holding up, you know, all my tools to fix my hair. All right. You've said twice now that you have MS. 
First and foremost, MS is absolutely horrifying. I'm really sorry if you have that diagnosis. Secondly, it is not our responsibility to monitor your medical ailments and or our responsibility to feel sorry for you when you continue to insert yourself in this. Okay, stop right now. This is why I can't stand people who continue to use ailments and illnesses to protect themselves when they get themselves into shit. You should know because it's your illness that MS is absolutely not good when you have additional stress. You're choosing to put yourself on the YouTube. You have chosen to continue to put yourself in this position. It is not my fault. It is not Deed's fault. It is not Gavel's fault. It is not Melissa Jade's fault. It is not Tracy's fault. It is nobody's fault that you have made the choices to get on this internet and act a fucking fool. You are the fucking fool. None of us are responsible for your ailments. Not a single one. I was joking when I said I have a headache, but you are giving me a fucking headache because this is fucking ignorant. This is ignorant shit. If you can't handle being criticized for the bullshit that you do on the internet, publicly on the internet, then maybe sit back and take a break and realize, mm, this is probably not good for my health. I'm causing myself unneeded stress. You're causing this. Nobody else. But you're going to do more here. You're going to threaten to sue us. Not one fucking person is responsible for you and your health. We didn't do shit. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much. So that's another reason that I just don't, you know, don't my camera that much because typically I have my hair on top of my head and a scrunchie and no makeup. <laughs> so mm, no. The only time that I have participated is when I was supporting the mother of a victim when somebody was coming after her a lot, a lot for literally two years straight. Okay. So we decided we'd had enough and we stood up for her and we went after that person, showed her how it felt. And I haven't done it since. Actually, when that mother asked us all, all of us, not, not just me, not just her, not you, she was just like, okay, let's just stop, right? Guess who stopped immediately? Me. Guess who's in this hate chat regularly? That other person. Still bashing me right now, along with these. Okay, first of all, if you're going to say you're a strong bitch and you are so much stronger than the rest of us and we're all weak spine and stuff, say the fucking name. Say it with your whole goddamn chest. Quit being a fucking pussy. Say the goddamn whole name. Stop pussyfooting around and acting like you can't say their name. If you're going to fucking talk about it, say the whole name. Stop doing this shit. This is why you continue to get yourself in shit. If you're going to talk about it, address it straight on or don't address it at all. Fuck. These people, after the mother of a victim asked her to stop, all of these people right now were asked by that mother to stop. They're not stopping, are they? I have responded, but I haven't started anything. My mom always told me, don't start nothing, but you better finish it. And I will finish this legally if I need to. Oh, save your fucking money and your goddamn energy and just shut up. Just shut up. You don't want this arena. You obviously can't handle it. So exit. Go back to doing something that doesn't involve harming victims and their families because that's what you're doing. You're responsible for your actions. That's it. That's all. I will have the means to do so shortly. So maybe they're trying to get all their lips in right now because they know that, you know, I'm not physically able to work. So I'm just at home. I'm only making a couple hundred dollars a month on YouTube. It's not a lot. You know, I can't file a lawsuit. Come after her while you can, right? Uh, you're just giving me more evidence is all you're doing right now. Yes, Rhonda. Absolutely lying. And no, did not edit the call. I mean, what? You're threatening to sue people over and stop the dry begging. Okay. That's just gross. Nobody gives a fuck about how much you make on YouTube, first of all. Deets, what's she mixing up? This is just, all of this is just so ridiculous. She's just throwing any type of shit on Deets, Melissa, and anybody that goes on panel over there. Like, this is just absolute ridiculous. Y'all, I can't tell you all the ins and outs of everything. That's Deets, panel, Melissa, they, they do great addressing her. This is just absolutely delusional.
I'm waiting for Deets to respond. Hold on, I gotta let Dexter out. I, why would you waste your inheritance? Like, why? how embarrassing. Like, give that person some dignity. Wasting your inheritance over people that don't let, agree with you on YouTube? Like, disagreeing over YouTube, you're gonna waste your inheritance? Oh, Deets, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's, she, uh, ha, ha. That's what she's back to again. Hey, Georgia, guess what? I'm puffy again today. Does that suit you? Just call me Stay Puff, like the Marshmallow Man or the Michelin guy, okay? Let's continue on. I mean, I'll pull it up. One I said I'm puffy again today, Georgia. I'm not going to play it because that's not what this is about at all. But I will pull it up and show you that it is one item, not spliced or edited in any way, shape, or form. Oh, the the image behind there is. I do leather. <laughs> Hang on, I want to make sure it's not going to show anything. Hey, Queen. Yeah. Yeah, I got to put the image back on there. With CapCut, if you have something you know that's you haven't opened in a couple of days, sometimes it'll lose that image that has um you know connected. This is the wildest shit I've ever. So seen. I'm trying to find one real quick just to go there. Oh, I'll just use this one. And this is wild. No, nope, just not what I want. She's oh. a pretty lady. But she'd close her mouth. Alrighty. She's lying to everybody, QB. She lied to Granny earlier too. She's just turned shit. Yeah, I know. People don't get it though. Um, as you can see here. Hey, Katie K. You see, I really wish that I could zoom in. It will not let me. Because if we could zoom in, then you you could see better. But if there was splices, then they would show. And there's no way to hide splices. They would just show up. Like I could probably. Here's what I can do. I'll show you what one looks like. Hold up. Did she just pull the edited clip and then put it back in her loader and then claim that this is the original? Wait, is that what she just did there? It, that's not, that's already the edited clip. That's not the original call because if it was the original call, it wouldn't have all that stuff over the top of it. You would have added that stuff after. So this is the already edited call. The fuck are you doing, crime sleuthing? Stop making yourself look like a fucking idiot. Okay, stop. That has, you know, like editing done to it. Here we go. All right, you see this? This is what edited audio looks like. Do you see how it's in pieces? Separate files. This is what it would look like if there was anything spliced or edited. Things would be separate. No, 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 no. Because what you can do is you could save that, re-upload it, and then it would be one consistent. No, no, no. Bitch, you ain't fooling nobody. Stop. Okay. There'd be pieces. This was my April Fool's oh. video. Do you see <laughs> that this is what it would look like, the little pieces of audio, if there was anything edited, like, let's say I wanted to clip this right here, and, oh, I didn't want that to show up, so I'm going to. I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about here, but this doesn't take rocket science. Anybody that has ever used any type of editing tool should know this. This is not the, why aren't you pulling up the original? Just pull up the original. Why are you refusing to do that? If it's not what they say it is, then why don't you just show it? Oh, wait, because you have a million and one excuses and you're worried about JLR because you think he's going to sue you. Do you really think that he's going to sue you? Do you really think that you're high up on his list to sue? I mean, seriously. Let's get rid of that. I don't want that in there. So then I'm going to have to move this. Where's my pointer? This is so childish. I can't even believe that. Sometimes it wants to work. It's not easy to. There we go. So then, see, so now oh, I'll take out that little piece of the audio. And I'm going to put this back. To can, I, can I just give a huge shout out to this, like, I don't know what you guys all call yourselves or what communities you all come from, but I am so proud to see so many of you in this chat right now. 
that don't actually get along, don't like each other, but you guys are here to call out the bullshit that continues to happen to these victims and their families. Can I just say thank you so much? Thank you so much because the victims and the exploitation that they continue to do to the victims and the victims' families and the bullshit like this one that continues to insert herself and try to claim that she is the victim when taking focus off of the victims is problematic. And I'm so proud to see so many of you in here. Thank together. You. This is just to show you. I'm going to put it together. Oh, you can't. You're not going to be able to hear it, right? If I played this, but this is gone now. But you can still see that it's separate pieces. Let's say this was the full audio and I wanted to add in something. Okay. Right there. Can you add in your my whole video? Ma'am, you're proving nothing here, but you're an idiot. Okay. That's all you're proving. Okay. Cool. You're moving files. Cool. Show us the full audio. I'm just because I said that I'm good with editing does not mean that. No, you're, you're really not good at that either. You know, I'm just going to be editing shit. In fact, me coming out and showing people, like when the Linda Lane footage came out on the Idaho 4 case, I was trying to explain to everybody the video on that for the, that CCTV footage that looks totally legit. But the audio appeared to be edited. I could hear that there was, there was just, for, for somebody that's, you know, done audio work, I've been in graphic and web design since 1999, early 2000. Holy shit, we got another artist amongst us all. Please, Lord, help us, Jesus. Get out the holy water. We're going to need doused real fast because we got another fucking... Oh, those of you that know, know where we're headed back down. Please tell us not. And I know what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to audio and video. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Why? Just like Chef H, he knows what he's doing with audio and video. He can tell you the oh. exact same thing. You're going to see evidence of splicing. That is why I pulled up the whole thing. And even in, hold up, even in like. Um, hold on. Let's let's look at this for a second here. Because you got a lot of projects here. So where is the full call? Where is the full call without any edits over the top of it? I don't know if there's anything in this one or not. Yeah, see? When you don't pull them up for a little bit, it loses the media, which I don't like. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need something else. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look through my files here. Yeah, take it. Probably not gonna see anything on some of these old ones, because I've cleared up my like um, temporary files and stuff. I don't keep them. Most of my videos are about you know victims and families, so I certainly don't want to show those anyway. Let's see what we have here. Crap. Same thing. But I mean, you can see that this is what it would look like if something's edited and have all the little pieces. When things are spliced and edited and all that, it's going to have all the little pieces. Gosh darn it. That's going to suck if I have to remake that video ever. That's one of my intro videos. But you're so damn good at graphics and shit. You've been doing it since the fucking time you could crawl, right? Like, you're so good at it. It should take you two seconds to edit a new intro. Huh? Uh, da, 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 da. Huh? Oh, I hope this one's okay. Man, y'all, that sucks. A while back, I was running kind of low on space on my laptop. So I went and just, you know, cleaned out a whole bunch of my stuff. So now a lot of my videos on the editing software are not going to show up. That's okay. I mean, they're already on YouTube. Excuses are like assholes, ma'am. We all got them, okay? Stop putting your finger in it and sitting there. Just get to the point. Is it the, surely is it the MK or is it something else? Yes, I am in Oklahoma. Hmm. Should I show that, Shirley, or not? I don't even know who that is. What are they talking about? Are you? Oh. Hmm, I'm trying to picture where that is. Is it like what section? I'm in Northeast Oklahoma, if that helps. Um, don't care about that either. Are you talking about this thing in my notifications, Shirley? Because I don't really, I don't know what to think about it. Um, I'm going to check them out. I have no idea who this is.
Did you fall asleep? Crime sleuthing? You okay in there? Oh, that's not very far from me at all. Strange, I don't understand. Well, I... They would need to email me. I don't know who that is. That gives me really weird vibes, honestly. Gives you weird vibes? I don't understand it. Gives you weird vibes, ma'am. Have you listened to yourself? Ah, okay. I see that. Okay. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm hmm Gotcha. Thank you. This is sped Thank up. You. Um, hold on. I got to open up a quick tab here. Oh, another so tab. I can record something real quick. Got to record it. Oh, she's pissed. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wonder who went live yeah, that's uh yeah um i got it well yeah if you did you already get it <laughs> who, who was live at this oh, space swing it from the side. if you can do it that'd be great because i've got this other thing going here i need to document okay i gotta know who's on nonsense duty who's on deeds duty who who's in her little group ease that got a we all obviously have somebody that's screen recording us for her. So who's screen recording Deets? Who's screen recording me? Who's screen recording Melissa Jade? I want to know who got all these shitty duties. Man. Wow. Hmm. That is It was Avery? <laughs> Can you imagine? <gasps> Go record this for me. Okay, got that recorded. I have something that lets me do that, surely, in one click. So we're instant ready. <laughs> you guys in the comments are killing me. I oh, really? From a planet? She's uh, absolutely. She's recording it all. She's mm, not. Mm, mm, mm. No, no. She does not know what she's going to say. She, she really wants to be named, huh? Oh, my God. <sighs> you think somebody's afraid of you? This woman that you told me about, like, literally, there's... Do you know how, how much vile stuff that person has put out? Vile content? She literally, I have, I oh, did a video on her and voices. I saw it. This is the I voice. Lost my mind. <laughs> it's voices. It she is claimed voices. that a woman, a mother, was in bed with her child. Oh, Lord, in bed with her child. It. Okay. Oh, herself. Oh, she yeah, 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 yeah. She's gonna go on. Okay, let's fast forward here. This is just she. It's not though. It's not. She's spinning her fucking. Advocate, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there she's going. Yep, it was voices. You're you know, right. Crunch, voices. I haven't had time to watch everything on that. It's hard to cover like everything. That's why a lot of us will pick a case or two or three to cover because it's really all you have time for. It and was right now. There's there's brand new documents that just dropped today on Idaho Four, <laughs> and all I've had time to do on that today was make a thumbnail. It's a good one too. Y'all want to see it? Quite proud of it. I just want to show you because I was like, ah, that turned out really good. Yeah, Janice, right? That's yeah. my thumbnail. So I haven't decided though yet. I know I put live 10 p.m. because I usually do a live on it, but I just haven't decided if I'm going to do a live or. Thank you, Janice, by the way. And I hope your day at work's going well. Video. I tend to have more time for videos than I do for lives because, unlike these people, I have a life. Oh. <laughs> No, anyway, there's some lives. good documents out that I want to go over. And so I'll probably, I don't know if I'll be able to do a live. I've been trying to do more lives because I, I'm trying to, you know, like break out of my shell a little more, talk with people a little more. Oh, please don't. Um, please don't. My skill set is definitely in, you know, the graphics and videos and stuff. Although, oh. you know, I don't put up too much effort. You mean recorded phone calls? That's where your skill set is? On the videos, like I could. If I spent, you know, days on a video, oh. it would be much better. But okay, frankly, when you're doing true crime... The point is to get the verified information out there as soon as you can, not making, oh. not waiting days to make the perfect video. Frankly, I never care if a video is perfect or whatever, as long as the information, like the two videos that I showed earlier, you know, short and sweet. That's how I like it myself when it comes to content. I don't see how people can sit for long lives. Often people will kind of come and go in and out of a live, you know, but these people literally sit there for eight, 10, 12 hours on YouTube just to shit on other channels. You you um were on this live stream for four hours, ma'am. That's all they're doing. 
not just me, other channels as well. Hell yeah. What yeah, that's why I did that live earlier on on both of them. Yeah. And yeah. Um what did Heidi say? Oh, that's not Heidi from Molly. It, oh God, Heidi, how do you get yourself involved with these people? Does it snow in there? Is that, yeah, yeah, sisterhood. Still snow? Oh God. But for me, I can whip out a video pretty quick. Whip easier, it. way easier for me to do a video than to go live. Whip it real. I don't know why other people say it's, it's just easier to fire up a live. Not for me. Kidding, we're not in Kansas yes, anymore. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, there's days when I won't even go to the store because it's just too peopley out there, you know? It's hard for me to, you know, hang out. It's just hard, but I'm definitely an introvert. I, I don't Ooh. care. Can you get back to Sue and us? Sandy, what did you say? Let's let's fast forward a little bit more. There's uh, probably a whole lot more in she here. Is, she does not deserve my time. Oh, who doesn't? Let's see if she'll name a name. So he sent somebody my text, which is, that's what they do. But I'm not seeing any text where he said, where he explained anything about using the word body. Is that on here? Yes. Somewhere? Be I really don't want to waste my time. Is that in this live? That's what I'm asking. To, I think it was Lee. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. Voices, you got it. I, just really to grab it. I already got these. Brianna, you might need to send help later. This is this has taken out the last couple brain cells I had. Um, Thank you so much for this, though. Compensation for dealing with this person. Thanks for taking one for the team, Bix. You're welcome. Uh, no, that is. We're all in hell. What are they even talking about? OMG, you were referring to the former lawsuit, not the victim. And then somebody, I mean, there's somebody says exactly. How could you be talking about a former lawsuit, sir, when you are telling me on the phone? I have the the whole thing. Really, I'm not going to play it in this phone call. No shit, we know this. No. Be Tim no, asking. No, 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 no. Not welcome. Not welcome. Nope. Yep. Yep. Text text can be faked. But that doesn't even no, nope, not giving Avery the link. Nope. She can go hang out with her friends. She has her chance with me. She lied about me. <laughs> so she wants to prevent. Nope. She wants to prevent me from exposing the truth about her using the name French Loopy. <laughs> You guys, I love listening. how they tried to use that thing on me. There, well, she knows how to fake tech, so we're not going to trust her. Beat him, man. We gotta wait though. They've got a band. She hasn't even figured out the bass player yet, and we gotta wait for her inheritance to come in, and then she can sue us all. Okay, we gotta wait. We're on like on a little bit lower level here. We're on a waiting game, so we gotta wait for all this shit. You know, that's typical. Her. <laughs> You're just such bass backwards thinking. <laughs> if somebody's telling you, hey, here's some here's something you should not trust, then you and they're they're very well versed in the subject, then <laughs> you guys she's pleasant. This Avery chick that used to be a friend who I was a real friend to. I was a real friend, legit real friend to this person. Oh man. <laughs> and they have been in this hate fest about me now for no reason. I did nothing to her. Nothing. I don't even have the energy to hate you. You're just, you're embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself. I, I don't have enough energy in you to hate you. Sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. No, it's, it's called you're embarrassing yourself. This is your behavior. Self-reflection is the thing that you should do. It's gotta be, it's gotta be a joke, right? We're all being punk. Nope. Oh, no, they're gone. They keep saying that. She's I literally want so to do with her. She is. But her chat isn't moving. She does not deserve my time. Oh, I think this is rich. So I had a, a live a while back about fake friends on YouTube. And Avery was one of the ones I was talking about in that live. Because she hurt me greatly. Um, and I had already, not the day of, but well before my live, had already blocked a couple people. Because they had already come into a previous live talking crap 
And then one of them, I just blocked her because, you know, I don't want to be a friend anymore. I don't want her on my channel. So I blocked her. They went and fired up a live and complained that she's over there doing this live and blocked us. So we can't even go over there and chat. Today, today, they were over on another channel who struck up a live and was talking all kinds of just absolutely ridiculous crap about me and some other creators. And she literally said that she had me and others blocked deliberately so that we couldn't come and defend ourselves. And the same- Yay, that's me! That's me! She's talking about me again, yay! Honorable mention again. Yeah, bitch, I have no use for you. There's nothing you could tell me that would make it any different. I don't like you, okay? I'm a stranger on the internet. You live in Oklahoma. I live in Arizona. It's not like we're gonna be besties for the resties, okay? Who gives a fuck? I have no use to hear you spin circles and lie straight to my face just like you do everybody else. Okay. And, and people. I'm already wasting my time doing that. They were in the chat and they thought that that was funny. <laughs> I mean, I did. talk about hypocritical. They threw the <laughs> biggest fit because I didn't want them on my channel. And I didn't even name them in the live. I didn't, I never said their name in that yeah. live. Huh? I hadn't reached my boiling point yet. <laughs> and, but again I, i'm not going to get into any particulars on victims because or play the call or anything like that on this particular live because this is not the proper time or place for that but i that has already been done on the other lives not the proper time and place for it she's got to continue to keep this emotional manipulation you know like blame everybody for her ailments and shit Oh, Lord bless her. I don't need to anyway. <laughs> but I did pull it up and show that it's all one file. And I could even show it on my Where? phone. Where? I would need to figure out. Hold on. Let me look at my phone here. Is there a way to hide a phone number so you can show your phone? Because like the whole phone call is there. Ma'am, you worked in IT. Why are you asking us? You did this for 20 years. You're a professional. Why are you asking us dumbasses over here? We don't know shit, right? That's what you've been telling us. So why are you asking us? We don't know. Okay. So I'll work on that and see. But you know, I don't have to prove shit to these stupid idiots. Leave us be. Um, nope. Exactly, Kelly. <laughs> it was, yeah, it, true, Heidi. It was absolutely, I hadn't prompted him to say anything at all. Nothing. We were specifically talking about this case. And then he said that he said it twice and then immediately said other things about the case. What they're doing right now, you guys, I see what they're doing. They're trying to pressure me doing the prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it bullshit. Right. Because they're dying to hear the whole phone call. No, that's not what that is. I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to speak for them. They can answer for themselves, but that's not what this was about. This was actually, you kind of showed your ass with that call and then targeted a search and rescue organization who is actively out there searching for victims, unlike you who claims you're a victim of online bullying and harassment because you're a crybaby wussy pants. Come on now. Stop it. Stop. You're out here slandering a search and rescue organization and putting some real hefty allegations on their shoulders and then don't have the balls to play the entire call. It's not about pressuring you to do shit. It's called doing the right thing, the thing you should have done from the jump. That's what you should have done. You should have played it all or not played it at all. Like either the full thing or nothing at all. They're they're salivating to hear my phone calls with this guy and see the text messages. Salivating. They're dying to see it. They're dying to hear it. It's none of your freaking business, you <laughs> crazy loony bins. I sent it exactly where I needed to send it. That's it. It is where it needs to be. Leave it alone. We're the crazy loony. Right? I don't need to play the whole thing. I played the exact. So like mods, if you see BS, just. Block them. Block them. Um, I don't owe any YouTuber anything. None of us owe any other YouTuber anything. Okay. None of us. Right. To go around and accuse another YouTuber of... Oh, the last stream, they accused me of having an alt account, and they named it. And get this. I saw earlier, I think when I was working on my video, that Stop the Grift actually commented on something on my channel. I need to go find it. And... um said that they're not me but i haven't had an opportunity to go like get that or screenshot it or anything they accuse me of being okay because an alt says it's not you it's not you um that that's not how that works either and the youtuber that's named stop the grift they accuse me of having 
um, burner email addresses. And then they took my private emails and private text messages with other people and were showing them on the live. Just, I mean, freak snakes is truly what they are. No, say it ain't so. Somebody released private messages, kind of like private recorded phone calls that people didn't know were being recorded and then released them? No. The only time, the only time that I have ever shown anything private on YouTube is when I played BHB's phone calls because she was trying to scam her entire community at that time. She was, she was, this is what she was telling me. And it's all in the phone calls. She was telling me that her and another creator were secretly friends, but they were playing a role in public, pretending to not like each other, but that they really did in the background and that they were secretly working together with another YouTuber to get all this secret information on a victim's family a victim's family, that they were playing the victim's family, pretending to care about this victim's family to get information. This victim's family was sending this YouTuber all kinds of information because she believed that this YouTuber cared about her. This BHB lady told me on the recorded phone calls at the time, I did not know that I was recording them. It was a whole app thing that I had for a different reason. But anyway, go back and watch that live. I played every damn minute. Of oh, no, 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 no. And we're not going to do that, Miss Tech Wonder of the Year. You claim that you have 20 plus years experience and technology working with editing and audio. And now you accidentally recorded phone calls. You accidentally did. But meanwhile, you say you did it because they were scamming. Can you fucking make it make sense? Because you're looking like a whole fucking ass clown out here. This is too easy. You're not good in this arena. This is going to be hard for you to come back from. Let me be honest, because if you keep doing shit like this, people are going to continue to call it out because it's ridiculous. You're fucking lying over the stupidest shit. Stupid shit. Unnecessary lies. Absolutely fucking unnecessary. Own your shit. Apologize for your stupid shit that you've done and move the fuck on. All of my phone calls with her because these crazy YouTubers were accusing me of editing the phone calls with her. So I'm like, all right, fine, bitches, I'll play the whole thing. And I did, played every minute of them. Now I have learned, now I've learned, I don't have to do that. And you know what, honey? You don't have to do that either. None of us have to do that. You don't have to believe me, and I don't have to believe you. None of us have to believe anybody. But just because you don't believe somebody, or if you don't like them, that does not give you any right to verbally harass and cyber bully the fuck out of somebody it just doesn't give you the right. Calling you out on your bullshit and your lies is not harassment or cyberbullying. Try again. That's not how this works. Stop. You're looking super foolish. You are seriously hurting people. Not just me. I'm just the one that's had the balls to come up here and say it right here on my channel. Ma'am, this is not called you having balls. Not at all. You are hurting real people. Real people, whether you like them or not. People have feelings. People have, like me, medical conditions where we're not supposed to be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. That's I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow at my doctor's appointment. But if my blood pressure is too high tomorrow to get my infusion, hell is going to rain down. Seems like it didn't bother you too bad. You were on panel for like two hours today. So uh, again, how are we responsible for you missing your appointment today? Sounds like drama was more important than your doctor's appointment. Um, that's a you problem, not a us problem. My doll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the fuck over YouTube because I'm at my pain level limit. I'm anti op op opioids. I don't take them. I don't like them because I have an addict son and they terrify me because I see, I saw what they did to my son. And he's clean and sober and doing great. It's wonderful. He's, he's, he's in years of recovery now, two, like two years. Um, and, and I don't take anything like that myself. So, you can look up ketamine infusions and it, it is a very difficult, complicated process. Not, you can't just ask for it. You have to specifically qualify for it. And crime sleuth. And I, I got a question for you on the ketamine infusions. And for those of you that don't know, this is going to be extremely sarcastic. So buckle up. Um, do you get to the point in your ketamine infusions where you take a scroll in and have a scribe write down all your information like Tim Ballard did? You're asking for me and some of my friends. I hope I get to still do it because it's it's one thing that works for me very well in 
like when I'm walking, I'm not having all of the hip pain. And <sighs> it just, it makes me feel better. And my hands work properly. It calms down all of my tremors and it lasts for about a year. So, oh, you have? Well, see, I was, they misdiagnosed me several times. Um, at first, they told me, what was the first one? Chronic regional pain syndrome was the first thing that they told me that I had. They call that the suicide disease. No, 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 no. Oh, this bitch. Stop, stop, stop with the medical stuff because I, I don't want to do this. I, I really don't. This is too much information to be putting out here. But trigeminal neuralgia is referred to as a suicide disease. CRPS can be, some people refer to it as that because it's one of the most painful diagnoses and it's hard to treat. Yes, there is that. But stop, just fucking stop because you're not going to do this shit here. This is not, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing this, crime sleuthing. We're not doing this. We are not fucking doing this. Trust me, you don't want to do this. We're not going to talk about and try to blame other people for your mental illness or your mental health or the lack of. We're, we're not doing this. Trust and believe we're not going to do this because it ain't going to work out well for you. Um, pain level's really high with that. But so that's what they told me it was at first. So I Googled that and scared the crap out of myself, right? We're not um, doing this. But in reading you know, all this stuff on Google, I was like, no, I don't know. I don't think so. This is, you know, I had to go through all the tests. They had to take so much blood and check me for everything. I've gone through so many MRIs. Um, it's been so expensive. I've, I've probably, I think we've spent at least, at least 5,000 on MRIs alone. Because when they do their insurance, guess what? They do the um, cervical. And then they do the lumbar and it's two separate MRIs. So you get to pay two co-pays. Ours, ours is um, $500 each. So every time I have to do an MRI, it's a grand for just my back. That's actually really cheap for an MRI to be truthful because usually you have the machine, the facility and the doctor that's reading it. And they have to do regular ones as well as my brain to check for new lesions. I'm one of the lucky ones. I get the lesions in my brain and my lower spine. Isn't that great? And these bitches want to attack me all the time. When I ain't done nothing wrong, I haven't done anything but the wrong. They say I have, but I have not. I will say that I, I, I tried. This is a brand new diagnosis, you know, for me. Just got this diagnosis a few months ago. And um, it's really affected my life, but it feels so much better to have an answer. I had to go through all the MRIs. They, they do. I think they I think they know what it is and they just don't tell you. They want you to go through every test known to man because it's all the money for them, right? <clears throat> and I'm getting upset. So my throat's freaking closing up. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> give me a minute. <sighs> Voices, I got to be honest. Every time you say you're going to go soak, I, all I think of is BYU. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, Credus. <laughs> Mine does just... I mean, I don't know much about it either. Oh, this that's crazy bitch thinks that if she just does audio and switches over to showing the stream just occasionally, that that's somehow not a violation. Woo! And skipping around in the live. Voices, tell him what you said about that mom claiming that, that she was raw dogging herself with her child in bed with her. Okay, stop deflecting off your behavior, okay? Let's tell, him, tell him the truth, voices. Focus. I bet she'll skip over that again. She's not playing that for her audience. I'll do a video. I'll put it on my second channel. So, sub up, honey. Y'all, I'll tell you all about yourself, voice. Crazy lady. Ma'am, look in the mirror. I, I learned a long time ago to stop Googling stuff, you know. But um, anyway, the we noticed at first they thought that it was Parkinson's because I do have some Parkinson's in my family. Oh my God! And they were telling me that. Then I went through testing for sclerosis. Um. No, I'm oh. sorry, scleroderma. They they kept going like, well, maybe it's this, maybe it's this. They didn't want it to be MS. I guess it's like the, the last thing that they finally test for. But you have to get the blood testing, and then um, mine was ANA positive. So then they're like, well, maybe it's just RA. Okay, maybe it's fibromyalgia. I went through all kinds of testing for all that stuff. Maybe it's Parkinson's. They have you do the walk studies. I had to do several more MRIs. It was just crazy. And finally. Mm. I had other symptoms that popped up that I do not discuss. Okay, you guys, I'm going to fast forward. I can't handle it because I'm going to lose my shit over this medical misinformation. Okay. 
Gonna lose it. Gonna lose it. I'm trying to be nice, mm -hmm. but this is hard. Are you sure? That's not what I saw. For those of you that know, you know. I think I might have missed. Hold on. Let me guess. Gonna... How come I can't undo it? Uh, I don't know. You're the tech wonder. Come on. We're just a bunch of low lowlifes, don't you know? You're the professional here. Figure it out. Okay, dead air. But instead, you assume the worst. And that is super immature. God, you're not good at this. Where'd you go now? Come on now. Crimson with and get to it. You're not so Yeah, Jeff, that's totally not true. I've got the entire phone call and the text. Not true at all. Trying to weasel his way out of it, but no. And how do we know that that text is real? We just don't. It's a very cropped thing that they put up there. And it wasn't him saying it. It was them saying it to him. Oh, so you were talking about blah, blah, blah. And then he said that supposedly, allegedly says that. Exactly. We don't know how real that is. Deflection again. And yeah, you were right here on my panel. You saw the whole thing. One piece, nothing edited, nothing spliced. It is in fact the whole phone call and just one of the phone calls. He's, he's trying to weasel his way out and they're trying to push me into, yes, exactly. And they're trying to push me into playing the whole phone call. There's been like mm, five or six different channels that have reached out to me, begging me to email them the whole phone call. I don't owe that to anybody. I sent it to TBI. That's all I needed to do. But they're nosy. They're dying to hear it. And now they're- Well, why would you send it to TBI? Why would you send it to the TBI if you said- when B. Tim asked you about it, you said it had nothing to do with Sebastian. So why would you need to bother the TBI with more false information if it wasn't about Sebastian's case to begin with? Why are, why can you not just fucking answer this straight up? Oh, God, this shit. They're supporting UCN. They're supporting. That's her end that she cut out her audio, Gail. I don't. Somebody must be in the shower or something back there. She back yet? Sorry, guys. There she goes. This is fucking stupid. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tia. She is. Hundred percent. She is. Yep. Oh, okay. Where'd you go now? Fucking get with of our bedroom, and it is pretty far away. It's at least like forty feet away from me, and it was still really loud. So I'm like, eh, I have to mute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what they want. And it's none of their business. Once I, once we send something to law enforcement, we need to leave it alone. Did you put that? Oh, hey. <clears throat> once you send it to law enforcement, you need to leave it alone. Then why the fuck did you go on three different panels and share bits and pieces of the phone call? If you send it to law enforcement because it's of concern, then why the fuck did you do a goddamn tour with it? and release little bits and pieces more. You just set out of your goddamn pie hole that once you send it to law enforcement, you need to leave it alone. But you thought it was right to go on a tour and release bits and pieces on other channels? Get the fuck out of here, crime sleuth. And you suck at this. No, I never said I put the whole phone call up. I never said that. I have not played the whole phone call online. I sent it to TBI. And I think it's probably best that I don't play more of it. What already got... Um, played got twisted around because people took even shorter clips of it like you know like you start recording at a certain point and then started spreading that around out of just i played plenty of the call plenty of it it is not out of context i would never do that to anybody i hadn't asked him any questions there was nothing like that i had not prompted him to say anything what he said was just bleh diarrhea in the mouth i guess because I hadn't asked. I had not asked anything. Do you know where anything is? You know, anything about the victim? He, he is the one that brought up the victim. I was talking about the search and we were talking about JLR first and then the search. It is all on the phone call. But you claimed that you weren't asking questions. So why would somebody make a jump from talking about JLR into that without being prompted to. I've got problems with this, Crime Sleuth, and because of, we've seen how you behave. So they say whatever they want. 
I have all of it. I'm not worried about it. Mm -mm. Something's not. Something ain't adding up here. Hey, Pinko, how are you? Oh. Mm, it's going. It's a going. <sighs> yeah, I have a lot of that lately, too. Okay, I gotta say this. This is gonna be real asshole-ish of me, which you guys know is pretty, pretty normal over here. Um, honey, are you buying subs by chance? You make the claim in this too, and I don't know if we'll get to that or not, but you make the claim that everybody is freaking out and trying to shut you down because you're approaching 10K. The support in your chat tells me that you've been buying subs or bots because there's like two people talking. There was 140 people in their max and there was four people chatting at one time and you were deleting most of their comments. So I, are you fake inflating your numbers and stuff? I, I'm just curious. I, I don't give a shit. I'm smaller than you and I don't care about that. The numbers have never mattered to me over here. We just are assholes and call people out on their bullshit. So it is what it is. But I just got problems with that because my chat has more interaction going on here and I'm a way little channeler, way littler channel than you. And it, you're, the math ain't math in here. It's like, Half of eight equals three. That's the kind of math I'm getting from you. Um, something's not adding up here, not to say that it's a big deal, but nobody's afraid of you getting 10K. You're not something to be feared. You're not intelligent. You're not articulate. I, I, sorry, it is what it is. You're kind of a weak spined bitch, in my opinion. And that's just based on the bullshit you're pulling. And you didn't think I liked you I didn't like you before. I sure as fuck don't like you now because you just tried to blame all of us for your medical issues, your lack of self-awareness. You tried to put a lot on deets, a lot on deets, and a lot on Melissa Jade. And that's just not cool when it's not factual. Like, mm-mm. Pinko, a lot of trouble sleeping. A lot on voices. Pretty much caught up last night, though. Yeah. You lied to Queen Bee. You lied to B Tim. You lied to Granny's watching. You're threatening to sue people. You kind of hit all the low-cow boxes at once. Like, big old fucking check mark. Moo moo, buckaroo. Go watch the live. I love that people, they'll take like, you know, a teeny tiny clip on any channel, not just me. I've, I see them do it all the time to other people. They'll take a little teeny tiny clip and they'll cut out the, the outside portions that give that little teeny tiny clip context. Mm. But they'll put out that little teeny tiny clip. See, I Actually, that's something I highly stand against. That's why I play more of the bullshit than I even want to listen to, because I think context is important and I want people to understand what's going on before and up to the point. That's why I always, I don't, I don't do shit like that. So again, you're twisting shit around and I, the people you're complaining about in this, I've never seen do that either. I didn't do that to him. I didn't do that to him. I played more, way more before and after what he said about the word body. And he said it himself. No, you guys lie. So I don't know which one you heard, Johnson. Did you hear the one that had it in there twice? Did y'all block her? Um, but, uh, <laughs> be careful with Benadryl. Remember, that's the, the oh, if you, I, I, mm, I don't think that Johnson would just flat out attack in my own chat. I mean, cause I've never like gone for her or anything. In fact, I think I've, I've, I've defended her. But, um, I don't know. So I got gotcha. you. I trust you guys. That sucks. I'm happy to answer questions as long as they're respectful. You want to answer the shit anytime? <laughs> Hold on. Granny, are you in here? I, Granny's probably not here. I'm sure she won't care. But <laughs> I got to give an example of... <laughs> Anytime somebody questions her, uh, you you guys like we're, what what the hell? Oh, here I'll let it play while I'm pulling this up. But what the hell? I'm just coming here and hello, oh, but you did this and this and this one. It's just not freaking true. Go back to and if you have questions, if I say go back to the beginning, it means I've already answered it. Go back to the beginning. Thank you, Heidi. That's fine. Let's see if she asks again. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> anyway, um, Can you, oh God, she's she is really long winded. Because I 
I am skipping forward because no, ain't nobody got time to listen to all this. Families, the survivors. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Even know what they're using. She's back into crime. Because I told him. Here we go. I wanted to go over. I said, on another recorded phone call, I said to him, we're going to go over your phone call. We're going to go over this. I'd like to ask you about that. We had, you know, a discussion over what was going to be brought up on the live. Uh And you do realize, again, I don't know why I have to keep saying this to certain people, but, Uh -uh. you know, we, (laughs) we're, See, every time I get a little stressed out, uh, it is perfectly okay to do what you need to do legally to cover your own butt. It really is. You guys do see that he's clearly, if you watch, just watch today's press conference, it was made very clearly. All the stuff was made very clearly. So, well, I'm just flabbergasted. I can't believe that he's trying to say he was talking about a lawsuit. Oh my God. Dude, dude, dude. I will have another live about that, I'm sure. But if there's anybody out there who is honestly, honestly neutral, who would like to meet with me, like on StreamYard or whatever, and look at it and listen to it, see the recording, see that the time matches and all that, let me know. So here she's offering to show somebody privately these calls on a private StreamYard. But then when she's asked to play them, she refuses to do it. Bullshit. This is bullshit, Crime Sleuth. I, I don't feel comfortable at this time just playing it live because it's it's something that you know law enforcement needs to look into. So, <clears throat> sorry. They need to sit his ass down and question him. Like, why would you say that? You're supposed to be search and, and rescue, right? <clears throat> sorry. You're supposed to have the highest level of hope to find that missing person. Not referring to that person in that manner. It's disgusting. First of all, that's a huge jump. If we're trying, mm, you have zero credibility to put out a phone call like that and us believe it's truthful. Sorry, I'm just going to say what it is. You have zero credibility to not be questioned. So before I go and expect law enforcement to take the time away from Sebastian's case and finding Sebastian and looking into a highly likely miss communicated phone call and some that's the nicest thing I could say about it um yeah fuck you you're making this so hard on yourself when in reality you did this all for attention and views and it was not necessary this is a search and rescue organization who dedicates their time to missing people so while you're sitting here thinking you're like patting yourself on the back that law enforcement needs to go take time away from finding Sebastian to investigate this organization. We don't even know the context of the phone call and you have zero credibility for anybody to believe that it's factual. Sorry. I, until you play the whole thing and the whole thing is known, I i don't know what to believe, but it's definitely not you. So he knew we were going to be going over that phone call. I told him. So lie all you want, not worried about it. Why would he agree to re- a recording of a phone call and then turn around and come up on a live stream that you were going to address this phone call? And then as soon as he entered, he realized that he didn't want to have nothing to do because your chat was turning on him. This isn't how that played out. And you know that as well as I do. I called it out yesterday and said that, in my opinion, what you fucking did was you weren't sure what way they were going to go and what stories you were going to get out of them. So you were recording the phone calls, putting them in your back pocket to weaponize them later when you didn't get things to go your way. Hence what you did. Then you release a version of the phone call. It's not the full phone, full phone call. We know that. And then, yeah, this was all very, very set up. This was premeditated. You wanted a show out of it one way or the other, and you were going to get it because that doesn't even make any rational sense to record a phone call and then play a recording of a phone call. Why wouldn't you just have that discussion again? Why wouldn't you just have that discussion live? That makes no sense. And obviously he didn't know that you were going to be playing this recorded call. That's not how this worked. He's confirmed that he didn't know that you were going to play this call. So why are you lying? And why didn't you shut your chat off if that was a problem? You want a drama. That's why you inserted yourself with this. This is why you contacted them. You want a drama and attention and views. That's it. Willow, right? Absolutely. 
And I'm telling you right now, if, if any of your children or grandchildren Don't or anybody that you know in your life, if you have a child in your life that has gone missing, would you give a flying fuck who was covering your child's case and putting their name and photo out? Yeah. Would you care who was searching for your child? Absolutely, I would. Absolutely, I would. I wouldn't want fucking clowns like you having nothing to do with it. If I or my children go missing, you ain't hearing shit. Count on that. No, because you have done completely unnecessary things and taken the focus off of Sebastian. You are not a fucking victim, crying Sleuthin. You are taking the focus off of Sebastian with all of your fucking antics and your bullshit. You continue to insert yourself in tragedies. What do you not get out of this? It is a self-serving sickness for you, obviously, in my opinion. But you continue to do it and you fail to see the bigger issue here. You are taking attention off of the victims. You are muddying the water. You are putting things out on search and rescue organizations that help find missing people. You're fucking sick, in my opinion, for doing such things. People need to be found. They deserve to be brought home. And you are not victim focused. You are not victim centered. You don't even fucking understand what being victim focused would be because you want to claim you're a victim. Would you care? Would you care if somebody had a your criminal history? Would you care? Ma'am, shut the hell up. And I can only speak for myself, but the internet knows my criminal history. I've had a bankruptcy. Woo! Just shut up. You're you're sounding foolish. Completely foolish. Yeah, I mean, it would have to be somebody that I know for sure. But I mean, just somebody neutral. You wouldn't? Yeah. I would not care who. I wouldn't care what photos they put out. I wouldn't care if you took my child's photo and edited it up with all the flowers and hearts and, you know, glitter and things that people do to photos. This ain't Lisa Frank's school for idiots, okay? First of all, this is a missing child. It is very relevant that the last picture of him is on the flyer. It does not give you permission to edit or alter the TBI Amber Alert flyers and then pass it off that you had permission to do so. That's sick. It ain't fucking Lisa Frank, okay, putting hearts and these things on it. It is straight to the victim. So the victim is the focus on the flyer. That's the point, you idiot. Oops, you know, I don't care what you did with anything as long as you were putting my child's or my grandchild's or my friend's child, a missing child's face out there. It doesn't matter if you decorate it up. I'm telling you again. To a There's a fucking reason why law enforcement in the TBI and other agencies do what they do. It's to focus on specific things of what that child looks like at that time. How are you missing this point? Except intentionally. To somebody of committing a crime, as you have done with me. These people accuse me of committing a crime. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Let me guess. You're going to be framed and set up too. Where's my girls at? Can we not, how, how are we doing this? She's just the redhead version of, she's an artist and got a degree in computer science. She fails to miss the point. What the fuck are we doing here? Y'all, I feel like I walked down this stage for the last year and a half and she turned into a single white female. Except this one really likes Melissa Jade. So maybe we won't have to worry about that, but why? Where do these, they're like a dime a dozen out here. He's crazy. Show me the law. Show me the law. See, you, you keep forgetting that I worked at a law firm for seven years. Oh, you remember? Yeah. I said that how many times? Oh. Check your memory bank. Yeah. Fuck, I called it earlier. I didn't even hear this portion of this yet. She just claimed she worked in a law office too. Oh, Y'all, why? Because I worked at a criminal defense law firm. No. Do you really think I'm stupid? I know exactly what slander Defamation of character and libel is half of these people on these hate oh. channels couldn't tell you the difference between slander and libel. We're they really couldn't. If you asked what's the difference between slander and libel, they would look at you like a deer in headlights. They don't even know what copyright infringement is. They don't even know what fair use is. <laughs> <laughs> this is called fair use. 
<laughs> they, they don't even know what fair use is. I, I sat there and listened to somebody tell me that the YouTube copyright page means that you can't file a claim on somebody unless it shows that you use that they use 100% of your video, that the copyright page on YouTube and in our studio, that the percentages mean that that's what percentage of your content they fair used. Do you know that that's completely false? And I have it in writing from YouTube that that's completely false oh my in writing. God. I got that shit in writing. We all got the terms of service. Okay. You ain't special. Do you know what the copyright page is actually? <laughs> oh my God. That means you can strike the fuck out of anybody you see listed on your copyright page. Oh. If you want, I ignore over 99.9999, whatever percent. Most of the time I don't give a shit. But if they use 10% of your video, 40, 50, 60, 80, whatever, it is up to, it is, this is directly from YouTube and I will be showing this on my second channel. That I'm sure she probably accidentally deleted it. But they stated it is in our discretion whether we would like to do one of the three choices that it gives us. We can dismiss it. We can contact that creator and ask them if they would take it down or we can just put a, you know, strike a removal request fully within our right, our discretion. And I have that in writing from YouTube because I was like, why would they even have a copyright page? Show it, show it. You know, if you can't, if you're not even supposed to do anything with it. And who uses 100% of somebody's video anyway, unless I guess you're restreaming their entire live. What? Welcome to the jungle. That didn't make any sense to me. So I reached out because y'all know I like to reach out, right? I reached out and I, I asked, and then I said, you know what? I'm going to need that all in writing like in writing, clear as a bell. And I got it. So sorry, but that person was wrong. It's okay. We're wrong sometimes, right? Just own it. Own that shit and apologize. No big deal. <laughs> I don't, I will never, you will never see anybody put any of their friends on a panel and say, oh, we found this is wrong. And this is wrong. And what you said here, that wasn't true. You made a mistake here. Look at that. They will never do that to their own friends ever, 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 ever. They will only do that to people that they don't like. And most of the crap that they're bringing up there, you're wrong about this. It's not even wrong. It's not even wrong anyway. It's just twisted. And a lot of it is just opinion. Like with this poster thing. It is just opinion that I did something wrong. I am doing what I can do from here to help with this case. Watch my freaking content and you will see that I do behave responsibly on my channel. I am very respectful to every single victim and their families, the survivors, <clears throat> look at my actual content, then get back to me. Don't watch a two minute clip on some stupid unemployed clip channel. You can't even, you know, they're not even qualified to work at McDonald's, but they got a clip channel. Oh, um, I don't know who you're calling clip channels, but a lot of us have probably more credentials than you do, but that's okay. Um, quick, quick segue here. I want to just go over here to this. This is from the TBI newsroom and you see the Sebastian Roberts, the TBI special agents are joining investigators with the Sumner County Sheriff's Office and the law enforcement agencies from surrounding counties to conduct another thorough search in the Long Hollow Pike area in reference to the disappearance of Sebastian Rogers. While there has not been any additional information to indicate where Sebastian may be or may have been, trained search teams will again execute a ground search in the wooded area and open areas surrounding Sebastian's home and neighborhood. Additionally, we have been made aware that an altered version of the official TBI Amber Alert poster has been made and is being circulated throughout social media, indicating that this is new poster has been verified. Please be aware that a lot of false information is being posted through multiple social media channels. The poster of our agency has the poster our agency has developed and is using is this below. Right here. And there's that. This is directly from the TBI newsroom because of her altered and edited flyer. And she claims that there was a bunch of other channels that edited it. Meanwhile, she couldn't pull them up. She told Granny to go search for herself when Granny asked her about it. She was like, they're all over the place. Just go search for them. Granted, that's kind of the typical BS with her. But just so we're very clear, there is a problem with this. Obviously, I mean, it's 
but she still lacks any accountability with what she did. Go look at my actual content. I do nothing but respect and honor victims and their families here on my channel. We might have some off topic discussions. We might have some times where we speculate, but we speculate based on fact mm. only for anybody to call me a tragedy pimp when I make virtually nothing is rich. Who gives a fuck about what you make? Ironic term there. It's just a stupid, so, so stupid. Correct. That, that new pick is so much different from the original. It gives another, the whole point is it gives another way to look at this child who's missing because it is my understanding that he is, and I, I'm going to stop telling people a lot of stuff, but <laughs> he is farsighted, not nearsighted. So he can be you know, like pose for photos or, you know, whatever. My husband's farsighted. So I don't really know much more than that, but. What does that have to do with you altering the photo? What does that have anything to do with you altering a photo? It doesn't. The photo on the TBI Amber Alert poster is the last photo of him. They wanted that there for a specific reason. You went ahead and covered that photo up with another altered, in my opinion, photo, and then claimed that it was verified or okayed by somebody. Not the case. Yes, you seem to have retracted it by now, but this whole spin that you're doing and taking zero accountability is why you continue to get yourself in these messes. You need to know what a missing person looks like with or without their glasses on. It helps because you do, if you if you see somebody with their glasses on for the most part, and then you see them without their glasses, they look quite different, right? That's why it looks different. And that's why it's important to get that information out there. Then put that out beside it. And you're completely contradicting everything that's been put out by the actual sources, AKA his family. Um, again, put that next to his flyer and say, these are additional photos and explain that. You didn't need to cover up the TBI photo. That That's just stupid. Again, nonsense, complete and fucking nonsense. Unnecessary bullshit that you're doing. And fuck, why? We always look different. Yeah, I believe he said farsighted. So, what? I think, um, no, my husband's nearsighted. That's right. I'm farsighted. Farsighted is where you can see better at a distance, oh, right? Than you can that close. Like, I need, I wear readers for reading. So that's farsighted, right? But I can read a sign down the street. You can't read a fucking room, that's for sure. I believe that's farsighted. But anyway. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. God, this hurts my head. There it is from six hours ago. Stop the grift commented on oh, over on my second channel. It says crime sleuthin is not me nor vice versa. I'm not going to engage the fools. I know them all too well. And these idiots are probably right now saying, oh, but she switched to her other alt account and then posted that and then came back to her main account. It's her, it's, it's I, I, have, I don't know that person. I have no idea who that is. It's not a friend of mine. Nobody has come to me and said, hey, this is me. I don't know what they're doing around YouTube to make anybody think that they're me. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what they must've done. They must've said something in support of me. I betcha. Does she not understand that that doesn't clear her? Like. Y'all, this is hard for me because I feel like every five seconds I'm stopping to correct her or say she's stupid because she really is. Like, that doesn't mean shit. It's just excuse after excuse after excuse. Okay, let's fast forward again because fuck, we still got to kick anybody out that you wish from. Oh. Oh, she adds music. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just if you if you want to hear more of it i'm wrong i played more of it on britney's channel allegedly with britney j i played more of it i played the beginning and I opened it up more and played more like before what he said and after. I've said this like 15 times 
and um, people just don't get it. They're just going by clipped versions of what I put out on my channel. No, that's not true. You've given a different story like 15 different times. It, and it, it doesn't make any sense. You're right. It doesn't make any sense. Your behavior makes no sense. Go watch a little more. If you want to hear more of it, it will put it in more context. No, you've removed complete context from the call. And then you're expecting us to believe you when you're a lying sack of shit, in my opinion. You know, that's what I have to say to them. I addressed more about the phone call on the live in which I played it as well. So. <clears throat> Oh, God. This is painful. And again, if, if, if you had a missing loved one in your life, you wouldn't give a flip who was covering it, who was putting their name and face out there. You wouldn't care. If, if any of my children, grandchildren, my loved ones go missing, I don't care who puts their name and faces out there. Please put their faces out there. But you know what's really sad? If if it's somebody that they don't like, they wouldn't cover it. And that is really pathetic. This has nothing to do with... No, Crime Sleuthin, stop. Stop. This is about your fucking behavior. This has nothing to do about the victim, the missing child, or his family. We have all sat here and said, well, me and my chat, for the most part, remain hopeful and optimistic that Sebastian will come home and on the side that we wait for law enforcement to provide factual information. It has nothing to do with liking or not liking the victim or the victim's family. That's what y'all are doing. You're the one inserting yourself in places that they you don't belong. You're the one exploiting these tragedies over and over again and getting involved with the families and doing all this stupid shit that is so unnecessary. That has nothing to do with what we're doing. Stop fucking make excuses. Be a goddamn adult and own your shit. Fucking deflection central here. <laughs> well, you're not wrong there, Lola. Ugh. Thank you. You've literally just pinpointed. I was like, I wondered where the original hate came from on YouTube. It was BHB. I was friends with um, Olivia. Chronicles of Olivia. I met her first. And then, like, we had a you know, shared interest of videography and true crime. So, oh, God. I've been friends with her for a little bit first. And then she introduced me to her. And then they started talking about the protests and stuff they were going to go do in Georgia. And I have organized protests before. Oh, my God. Add that to the fucking resume. Somebody take me out. She, goddamn, she's going to be the next fucking prophet of the LDS church and the next president of the United States. Move over Trump and Biden fucking crime sleuth and it's coming in. Lord, help us all. I, I'm done. I will not discuss you them. You did. But um, because there are some awful people on YouTube, apparently, who will twist everything. What? So, no, I'm saying I'm not going to play them again here. I already played them there. I'm not going to do it here, especially for this live. If you need to hear it now, you go. I have never played the full thing in full context. You've clipped certain pieces out and changed the story each and every time. Over there. It's on there. There's more of it, the beginning and more of it. So anyway, um, I know how to organize a protest correctly, how to get permits and everything that you- Oh, can somebody make her a resume, please? I really need somebody to troll the fuck out of her with a resume. I'm going to have to make one myself because goddamn, she is like a rocket scientist. I'm sure she works for NASA too. Maybe even if a permit is not required, like here in Oklahoma, you do not- Right, Mark. No, that's not, that's not the same thing, Disney. Nice try though. It's not the same thing. Oh, read what it says. Um, like in Oklahoma, we're not required to get a permit for any protest. However, if you want to guarantee that your time, no, 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 Shaney. Somebody in chat just said, um, new to us says no calling names based on looks. So stop calling people horse face. That is not what the TOS is talking about. It is different, but it describes it in there. I'm getting really tired of this. Um, even if you're not required to, if you want to guarantee that your space is your groups for that entire time, then you should get a permit. So anytime that I was involved in past protests, we would always get a permit for that date and time and location. That also guarantees that you will have the right to call law enforcement to kick anybody out that you wish. 
from your protest. They have to stay away. If somebody's like counter protesting, they have to stay away so many feet from your protest. They can't interfere with your protest. All kinds of laws and things involved because all the way down to the city level. So it's just kind of the, the thing about that is like I said, it's already over there. This live isn't for that. So if you can you can watch the shorter version that I hear on my live, or you can go over to allegedly her channel and watch more. It's already on her live from I think last night. More of it's there if you want to watch more of it. It does open up. I played more before and after, and then I played the beginning of the call too. The only portion that I'm not comfortable playing is the part where we were discussing JLR. Okay. Number one, he received a cease and desist after our phone call. Number two, I already apologized to JLR for the things that happened in the first part of my life before I found out the truth about UCN. And I feel that it would be rude of me to rehash that. Oh, <laughs> Brie, I just got it. I just figured it out. Filder, you're calling me an American gladiator? Whoa. I would fucking love to be an American gladiator. And tits and shit? Bro. Come on now. Can you be a funny troll? At least if you're going to troll me, come up with some good shit. Come on. Come on. Put your old titties on the glaze. When it's already resolved. Wouldn't it? So I had offered to play the whole phone call except for that couple of minutes. But people were like, oh, no, no, no. We want to hear every word of it. No, you want to take that clip of me and Todd trashing JLR, and you want to blast that all over the place. That's what you really want to do. You want to use that to go after JLR. J Crime sleuthing, JLR has made the bed that JLR lays in. JLR is a proven con man. According to his own public records and things he has done, he has spent many years in prison. I miss me with the bullshit that he's reformed because he's not. He is trolling the shit out of true crime cases and exploiting the shit out of tragedies. It's the ultimate troll for him. It is no different than what he's ever done. He's pushing propaganda. It's election year. It's God, you're an idiot. You want to take the other portions of the call and twist those as well. I'm not stupid. I I don't go back on my word. <laughs> Whether other people like it or not, I don't go back on my word. Okay. Do you have like a specific question? Maybe I did that. I did that. I played not only the portion that's relevant, but I played before it a couple minutes and after it a couple minutes. Just show the full context. It's all there. No, 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 you did not. And if you did, you didn't play it on anything I've seen. You removed the context of what was actually being talked about. And then it jumps into this conversation about a child or a body and they can't get down. No. I didn't ask him about this victim. He brought them up. He said what he said, and he said it twice in a row. So it was not like a slip of the tongue or anything. And then, But meanwhile, she told B. Tim on Queen B's panel that it wasn't a discussion about Sebastian, but then she felt it was necessary to send it to the TBI. She, she can't keep her shit straight. See, this is the problem. When you don't fucking lie about shit, you don't have to twist and turn and continue to add to the story. Every fucking time, it's something new. You continue to add to these stories. It's not necessary when you're telling the truth. Immediately after, he, he says more. He cannot sit here and lie down and say it was about some lawsuit. It had nothing to do with any damn lawsuit. There was a lot more than that phone call and other phone calls. <laughs> That's not the only phone call. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Weasel and trying to weasel out of what he said. No, dude, you should have just apologized. Wow. At least when I... Yes, Lolo, he is... He's, these haters of mine reached out to him and said... They presented a screenshot where the top of the screenshot says, so you were talking about a lawsuit, not the victim. I'm not going to repeat it. And he answered back, exactly. But that is a bold-faced lie, y'all. That is a bold-faced lie. If that's a real text and if that's a real screenshot, and that's really what they said and he said that, that is a bold-faced lie. Um, we're supposed to take your word for that? Sorry, you have zero credibility. Crazy. And I, I, I'm going to tell you something that might hurt your feelings. When it comes to chasing, chasing, put that up on Deets' panel. And sorry, those girls have a lot more credibility than you will ever have in your pinky toe. Um, and to even 
try to claim that they might have edited text messages from a search and rescue organization, you don't know who these people are. Because they wouldn't do that to a victim or a victim's family or a search and rescue organization that's out here trying to help find missing people and bring loved ones home to their families. That's a you thing, not a them thing. And I don't agree with them on everything either, but that's factual. How could that even be related to, it just doesn't make any sense. He was talking about this victim before and after. No other victims, no other lawsuits, no, no lawsuits were discussed. Nothing about any lawsuit was discussed between me and this person. Nothing about any other victims. Did you just probably possibly like, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here. Is it possibly that his conversation went right the fuck over your head? Like everything else has done because there doesn't seem to be anything catching in there besides wind. Could you have completely not understood the conversation that he was having? Nothing. When you leave this wide open like this and you selectively put out certain pieces to paint a narrative about a search and rescue organization, and then tiptoe around and change the story up a bunch. All people can do is question. He brought up this one on his own. I was shocked when I heard it. So he can say whatever he wants to say, but he's lying. Oh, 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 that's right. Um, I think so. Yeah, this I don't remember verbatim what I said on my live threats and that they couldn't go to law enforcement about this what they think what they thought right because law enforcement wouldn't work with them anymore because they were getting threats which is a bunch of bs oh philibert i gotta play with you for a minute i gotta play with you for a minute do you really want to make me cry wipe away the tears with those massive man hands read up on pituitary glands you can't shrink your orangutan mitts but maybe stop them from growing anymore Philbert, Philbert, my dude, I have tiny little hands. They might look huge on camera, but they're tiny. Cash, Philbert wants to see a fupa. I can't help him. Can you help him out? At least you're more entertaining than Crime Sleuth and Mill. Keep on. So Carry I on. wanted to be able to ask him about all that, but he took it down on the live. He was there backstage. <laughs> He'd come up on the private panel with me. We talked and then he saw a chat. Chat was in there exposing the truth and it freaked him out and he left. <laughs> so that's true. Didn't get to ask him. Bandex. Not for me. It hasn't. I mean, there, there's there been family, other, lots of creators, lots of creators reach out to family and victims all the time, all the time. There would be no problem, except they don't like me. It is not illegal or immoral for anybody to reach out to whoever they wish as long as they are doing so in a res respectful manner not sending somebody a message a, a, mo a mother of a child who was brutally unalive reaching out to that mother and sending them a heckling message on their dog walking app or that's their job right reaching out to them at their place of employment basically right asking them how much they charge for their dog walking services as a joke. Do you think that was okay? Who did that? Who did that, crime sleuthing? In my case, I have actually had several families reach out to me. Prove it. Prove it that they made first contact with you. Philbert, I got a helmet, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. And then one who reached out to a friend, a mutual friend, to reach out to me and ask me to reach out to them. <laughs> I've had friends and neighbors of victims reach out to me. And most of that has never been mentioned on my channel. Didn't I'm, I'm sorry, Crime Sleuth, and I, I'm going to call bullshit on that again. Straight up bullshit. 100% bullshit. And I'm going to continue to stand on bullshit because uh, you're such an attention seeking hoe that you would have blasted all over. Anybody that has any communication with you, no, I'm going to call bullshit. Sorry. Sorry. Interview. I wasn't looking for interviews. I wasn't looking for content. I was there to help. And I did help. That's all that matters. Doesn't matter what I did. This is ridiculous. Uh, mm. 
I do what I feel is necessary at the time and appropriate, and I handle it respectfully and appropriately. As long as you do so, you are, anybody can reach out to anybody that they need to for, if it's a legitimate reason, like I would. Okay. So she's saying that she's, she doesn't reach out to people. They reach out to her, but then she's saying that there's no problem with reaching out to people and inserting yourself and stuff. As long as it's done respectfully, uh, crime sleuth, and that's not what you're doing. You reached out to Todd Terrell of the United Cajun Navy to insert yourself and create drama between him and JLR because you wanted attention. That's exactly what you did. You recorded the phone call, didn't know what it was going to turn out. When he refused to come up on your panel, you basically, in my opinion, blackmailed the dude and released an, a phone call without context. And then you're expecting us to believe you on some shit? Get the fuck out of here. Get out of the... Girl, you're in over your head. You are drowning in shit. Like, the bullshit is like... I, I don't even think you are got eyeballs anymore. Wouldn't just suddenly just decide to message a family, just ask a personal question that would upset them about their family member or whatever, you know, something that's none of my business. But if that victim is being slandered all over YouTube and somebody is saying that they did something that they didn't do. Like what's happening right now to Chris and Katie and even some of Seth, what's happening to the family of this victim. And then you go and insert yourself and cause havoc with the, one of the search organizations who was volunteering their time to help get the, Oh God. And they're putting out fake information about a victim's family. <sighs> then. And they already knew about it. You're Y'all, I know that she's done a whole lot in the Idaho 4 case too. Please check out Melissa Jade and Deets on the Streets for more information on some of that. She's also, I think, talked a little bit on Queen V's panel on Granny's Watching. She's talked about all this shit all over the place. Like she she inserts herself everywhere. I don't talk about the Idaho 4 case just because it's too much for me. But she did a lot there. And she has a lot of audacity saying that or judging anybody else for inserting themselves because she is all up in the business, every single place. That's why she connected with Olivia. That's why she, when she connected with Olivia and BHB, it was during the Quentin Simons bullshit that she was grifting off of and was all buddy, buddy and okay with what they were doing down there. She can miss me with all of her fake ass bullshit. Ask him a question to know if it's appropriate to cover this. And if law enforcement is aware of it, that's okay. Absolutely. People don't realize that. Um, 100% agree with you. YouTubers actually fall. We're, we are listed as media. We're listed as press. As it's under. Oh, God damn it, you all. Now she's she's got a press bath. <laughs> Why? This is like a Vada and BHB mixed together. This is like the worst nightmare come true. For the freelance. We are considered freelance journalists. Oh, and there's actually a no, honey, you're considered an idiot. Sorry. I'm, I'm don't blame Deets. Don't tell, don't be on your channel saying that Deets called you every vile thing in the book. That'd be nonsense. Nonsense said some shit about you, called you an idiot, called you a bitch, called you stupid. Probably a lot more. But hell, if the shoe fucking fits, lace that bitch up. Code of ethics that we are supposed to follow. One of those is to reach out directly to sources. We're also not, not under any obligation as media. If we are doing our channel as media, we're not obligated to do anything that anybody doesn't want us to do as far as like revealing sources, playing entire phone calls. You hear all the time, regular old media will have it, you know, 30 minute phone call with somebody and they'll put out like four, four minutes of it. People aren't running to the news media with pitchforks. Give us the whole phone call. Tell us who you talked to. Tell us who you, what you said. It's none of their damn business. They're not required to. We're not either. None of us are. Not just me. We can protect our sources and we are not required to do anything but be responsible. And I have been. So. Okay, Shaney. By the way, y'all. Those of you that are creators that are not on a brand page, you see what I just did there? I dropped some memberships. Um, you, If you're not a branded page, you have membership gifting that you can give memberships away to your subs at the beginning of the month. Just so you guys are aware, that's what I'm doing right now. So those are free gifts from YouTube that us creators are given, but it can't be a branded account. That's one thing we did learn. So sorry, I forgot that I had them and I just wanted to use them right quick while well, you guys are in here. Okay, back to this. Sorry, we're almost done. We're almost done. But that's a quick reminder. I hope to God that you are never in this position. 
if you ever are, think back to this conversation and what you just said, because you would understand. It has been a long time coming. Nice and I time. have yet to be done at this point. I'm done. I'm so sick of it. So. If true crime channels, and there are some really good, really good true crime channels that I look up to, that I emulate, they're doing the exact freaking same thing that I'm doing. I'm literally emulating really good channels that do the exact same thing, and they get no bullshit hate for it. Um, mm, if you're emulating channels and you think they're good, you need to reevaluate. Because if they're doing shit like this, that's not a good channel. That's not victim focused. That's not about, yeah. No. Not doing nothing different to a bunch of these other channels. Nothing. They reach out to victims and families all that time. You're welcome. And pay them for interviews. Pay them. Openly admitting. There you go. I reached out. Yeah, I sent a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Wait, is she admitting that she's paying people for interviews? Yeah, this, yeah, that. Like, why don't I just say that? I am. I am saying that. If I wish to reach out to somebody, and even if I were interested in paying somebody for an interview, that's my prerogative, not yours. Ooh, oh, God, I have such an issue with this shit. Can you mind? You just need to stop talking. Hmm. What do you guys feel? Honestly, do you guys have problems with paid interviews when it comes to missing children's cases and tragedies like that? Do you have problems with people paying? I have an ethical issue with that, I think. Uh, mm. Tell me what you guys think. I am struggling with th that. I haven't paid for an interview yet. I had a suspect ask me to pay him for an interview. And I said, kick rocks. I'm not a suspect. She's talking about Stacey Wander, I'm assuming. I don't have a problem with like you paying, like Chris Proudfoot was saying the other night on Smiley's World, whatever the fuck her Slimey's World channel. And he was saying, you know, I will be here as long as the proceeds are donated to, you know, flyers, an organization that helps. Like I'm all for that. So if you're paying for an interview to like help the case, that's one thing, but that's not, yeah, she's talking about suspect. Oh, that, that's grimy shit because the intent of it is for money and not honesty that I don't know. I have an issue there. I'm paying for an interview. I'm not paying you shit. And he mm. then immediately started threatening me and cussing at me and calling me a C-U-N-T. So boy, am I glad that I blocked him real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with being the, mm -hmm. the bigger person, turn the other cheek. No. If they want to go after somebody in my position who's not doing anything wrong, I'm going to fucking bite back. Don't bark at me. Don't bark at me over and over and over mm. and then ignore me. Right. See, Shani, I have... I have growled many times, many times. Yeah. I've growled. I have been like slightly kind of nipping at him, nipping at him. You need to You're growling at us. Do you really want me to show you? You guys are going to get so sick of my props and shit today. I just can't take this seriously. And I'm having a hard time not falling asleep. Crime sleuthing, crime sleuthing. You're claiming you're growling and bitch, this is all you're really sounding like. God, it's been a long time since I've gotten the props out. It's been a long time since somebody has really done this to me mentally. <laughs> That's all you sound like, Prime Sleuthin, okay? This is what you sound like. It's not a growl. I mean, you're really sitting here saying that you're growling at people? You're a grown-ass adult. You're growling? That's all you sound like, okay? Stop. Lord bless it. Take my props away. This is too much. She really is, like, proud of growling at adults. Leave me the fuck alone. You need to leave me the fuck alone. You really need to leave me the fuck alone. But they have ignored all of that. What am I supposed to do? Keep doing the same thing? You need to leave me alone. You need to leave me alone. No, I'm, I'm serious. You need to leave me the fuck alone. Or else what? And what? You gonna lie some more? You gonna stomp around? Do a crying spirit? Like what? This is the fucking internet. You put shit out here, you're gonna get criticized over it, okay? That's how it goes. If you don't want criticized over the fuck shit that you're doing. Stop doing the fuck shit, crime sleuthing. All of these stupid, immature, arrested development people need to just leave me alone. Especially when some of them agreed to walk away and leave me alone and then went right back at it 24 hours. I'm not going to deny immaturity level today. I got the props out. So yes, I, I 
self-admitted immature. I know. I've tried that path. Believe me, Jamie. I have tried that. It don't work. So it's it's easy to ignore it if they're just if they were like just on their channel. If they want to do a hate stream and bitch and moan and whine to each other, have at it. I don't care. I really don't give a shit. It is when. Thank you for your permission. That's what we did. That hate seeps over where they're showing my channel. They've got the link up. They're even dropping the link to my channel. And they send these flying monkeys and trolls over to my channel. That is when it has gone too far. Nobody's sending anybody over to you. I have not dropped your link. I don't intend on it. Nobody is coming over to harass you. Asking you questions or to clarify things is not hate or harassment. You need to you need to get a dictionary. I have not done that. Have I said anything in this live about, hey, I need my friends to go over there? Um, God. Oh, this is so hard to be nice. I... I don't think your friends would stand a chance and I would hope they would be embarrassed trying to defend this behavior and attack them. No, I have asked them, why don't you get your dumbass over here and face me on my turf? <laughs> they won't do it. The ones that I want to talk to won't face me on my turf. They want me to come up on their panel where they'll claim that it's going to be just me, maybe another person, two or three of us blink. And there's 10 people up there. I'm not doing that shit anymore. I'm done because it doesn't do anything. You can't mm. accomplish anything like that. So no, 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 not you, Jamie, not you. Currently there's a restream going on by a hater who was encouraged to do so. I'm kind of talking to both chat and then I know it's confusing, but. All right, we're switching gears for a second because I want to show this. Okay, this is from Granny's Watching Act. We're only going to watch this little section. I was actually watching this when this happened. So the good Nanya, those of you should know, most of you know who the good Nanya is, gets up there to ask a question. Okay, we all know Nanya has a ton of questions. So she gets up there. I'm not going to play the full thing. Yeah, it's not hard to type in their name and the lawsuit is one of the first things that come the lawsuit and their um protective orders that they well, why don't you do me a favor one of my mods and drop granny's watching granny just hit 10k today i was so excited for her especially because crime sleuthin was on the panel and she thinks everybody's pissed at her because she's <laughs> she's almost to 10k and she's catching up with them and <laughs> all this shit. but just watch how she reacts when people are asking questions of her they filed for, which did get declined. But those are the two main things that pop up when you type in their company name outside of their website. Like, so I would, I mean, did you not do any research on them before you even got to that point? No, he said he, he said that the information out there about him was false. And he wanted me to focus on his story, what he wanted told. Well, no, he I understand me, that, but he gave me specific have... things to look up and I'll, I'll tell you what he said to look up. Okay. So the only he thing only... that you were willing to look into was what as he the internet sleuth to... was only what he told you to go look at. Because the point was, it was supposed to be his time for his story and for these are the truth. things that for his truth, right? I wasn't there to try to debunk him. I wasn't right. there to try to do anything I mean, to give him. But to me, it's faith. like they won that lawsuit. Right. So like, why wouldn't like, that still is part of his story. Well, why, didn't that's where the, why didn't that's he bring where it the up? Why did like cyber stalking and cyber harassment and all that kind of stuff came into play was okay. during the time of that lawsuit. And that would defend his story at that point in time. And if it, research so, was done. So if that's true, why did he not ever mention it to me? Well, we don't know if he did or not. He didn't. He I never, mean, but the, ever, ever mentions to me. But the I bad remember. part about that, though, honestly, Crime Sleuthin, right now, is we don't know that. We only have your word for it. And honestly, I'm just being honest, from our little bit of interactions, your word doesn't really carry a lot of weight in because my mind. Because the other That's things all. have been twisted. The other things about me have been twisted. I have been well, lied about repeatedly. I, um, where's the lies? Well, well okay. me, so I to be fair, I, I've seen receipts of things, right? You know, and I've been on a panel with you where, like, you've gotten caught in lies. No, I have right not. In there. No, I have not. You just did. You just got caught in a lie saying that you've never been caught in a lie. 
on a panel. Mm. You I you have, like but, but we can agree to disagree panels. on that. I'm totally Brandy, fine I'm with that. Go. Listen to this. As soon as she gets questioned, this is how she behaves. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally but fine with can... agreeing to disagree on that. But okay, so the first <laughs> phone call that you did with him, that was not recorded, Granny, correct? You've got my email. I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm Granny, Granny, Granny. It's just like what she did on Queen Bees. Too. I could go over to pull Queen Bees from last night. Same thing. Same fucking thing. Anytime anybody questions her, Rowena hopped up there and asked her a question. Rowena was super calm, collected, heels. Same fucking thing. B10, same thing. Queen Bee, Queen Bee, Queen Bee. <laughs> I wanted to come up and speak with you. Well, but, but I'm curious though, but why, why do you go every time somebody questions you? That's, that's no, confusing. Because this is not what this is. This is different than what I wanted to do. Of course, it's always different. Let me go over. Let me, let me do it. Let me go grab Queen Bees from yesterday. Just a quick little portion. Let me show you how you behave. Let's show you the reality of what you actually do. Because you did it up there. You threw a hissy fit until you... Got Nanya to drop down. Let's go over here because she did it on Queen Bees too. Let me find the spot. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I'm just going to give this quick and then we're out of here because this is ridiculous. Will somebody drop Queen Bees in here too, please? Sorry. I'm actually asking my mods to do something today. Oh, Becky, you're so mean. I'm just joking. My mods are always awesome. Okay, let's see here. Where does she hop up? I think it's around the one hour mark. Mm, yeah, there she be. So voices hop down before she hopped up there. And then Crime Sleuth and hops up. Hold on, let me get to where Rowena is in here. Oh, I think she might have covered it. I understand. I'd watch it on your channel. You did the interview. It's your interview. It's you with him. I would rather watch it on your channel. Minutes? Have you played that? Like it's right only, after he. It's only an eight minute. Film. Yeah, it's eight minutes. She says, and I was wrong right, but right after minutes. he said that, I would just yeah. like to hear sure. what I was that. This is heels talking, but let me find. Is Rowena before heels? The voice is completely. Uh, she got up here and just twisted shit around. Here's my okay. Let well, me just She's go going your into page. deep. Oh, that's why. I, that, right? That's why I'd rather you come up and speak for yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? So right. you know, I, I don't hear what she's trying to do. So each and every panel that she goes on, she knows that there's infighting and conflict going on between some of these channels. Okay, that's not shocking. Anyways, but she constantly is trying to maneuver. So she's on Queen Bees. She's trying to throw shade on Deets. She goes on grannies and she was throwing shade back at queen bee i think like she constantly is trying to pick and like maneuver herself because of the dislike or discontent between channels it's fucking bullshit crime sleuthing some of us aren't involved in that shit and can see exactly what you're doing right out front it's so fucking obvious it's not really enough here, but i'm gonna go ahead well, and I'm gonna hop in. that was why i just i just wanted some proof that's the only thing so that's all no day. problem okay. I'll see you later. Have a great day. I think I have explained everything enough. I think you should release the whole interview. Listen to her. As soon as somebody questions her on something, the same thing happens again. She throws a fit until she gets her way. Ah, yeah, 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 y'all. Anyways, I think we've seen enough of this bullshit. I absolutely. We wasted three and a half hours today. Go us. Tony, um, I don't know anything about that. Thank you, Revival. Thank you, Mods. You guys all rock. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you. There's a lot of new faces around here. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Welcome in. My, If you are new here, you can call me Becky, Contessa, or Nonsense, or The Hulk, or Mrs. Doubtfire. I've been called them all. None of it's offensive. So, Can I roast stand up? No, Tony. They were complaining about my titties. <laughs> Philbert, Philbert might get his eyes knocked out. <laughs> Actually, I'll swear you guys today. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Sorry, this was long. We're going to continue to talk about, though, like, Cram Sleuthin is going to be put on the back burner. Everybody's going to... She's up against a whole lot of... Thank you, Philbert. Philbert Bagodouche. I love that name. Philbert Bagodouche. See, I love me a good troll name. Seymour Butts, love that name. Jack me off, love that name. You know, I'm, I'm good with it. Just don't ask about my couch because it doesn't pull out. 
So <laughs> thank you, Nicole. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Um, stay safe out here. Get your helmets on. Seriously, like this is some crazy shit. I'm going to focus a lot on, I don't like that sweetie pilo. I'm already telling you, I got a really bad feeling in that 1111 true crime. I am really having a hard time off too. Like there's some problematic but we have some other pages too. There's this, the list is growing. Y'all, I have 14 new channels that are saying some of the horrible shit that I've never seen before. And I'm just like, what the hell? Thanks for letting me come out of my bush on the island today. It's been fun. Thank you, Shy One. I hope you guys had a great day. And again, thank you all for standing beside each other and even like putting down swords right now and calling out all the bullshit that's going on. I appreciate all of you guys. These families deserve peace. These victims deserve peace. And it's going to take all of us speaking up against this bullshit and continuing to say enough's enough. Like none of us are doing this. And I really am glad to see so many people rallying and saying enough's enough. Like it is absolutely necessary. Thank you, Summer. Thank you, Kathy. Victims matter. Yes, victims are what matters. Absolutely. And for the Islanders or those of you that enjoy it over here, we will be doing an Islander live this weekend with Amethyst so we can use all of our brain cells to discuss our writing process. We still got to write our letters and our speeches for our two minutes with the review board. So, oh, Leather, this chat's great. Thank you, Bernadette. Thank you so much, Kelly. All right, y'all. Oh, I, that's a good one too. I've never heard that one. That's a great. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, I've, this is, some of these channels are really new. If there's somebody that you really want me to look at and want me to put on my list, let me know. Um, we didn't get to Brittany J and CJ, but they were doing shit again last night, making a huge thing out of all of that. The glasses, when they took what the TBI said and completely twisted it into this whole new narrative. Lavina, thank you. Hey, Roxy. Um, but if you guys have somebody that you really, you can put it in the comments. Feel free. I know, Revival, I am. I'm triggered and ready to cry. <laughs> I'm triggered and ready to cry. All right, y'all. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to play you out with a song. Again, thank you for all of you being here for this long. I'm sorry. It was a lot. To Deets, Chasing, Melissa Jade, Gavel Geeks, Voices, Granny, Queen Bee, Shit, I don't even know. There's probably a bunch that I'm missing that she is like on the radar of. Um, it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting couple of days around here. I have a feeling because she just won't shut up. But I need to know what instruments you play in the band. And uh, I need to know what dance moves I need because I'm really fucking good at the sprinkler. So I can be the backup dancer for the band. Um, I'm really good at the shopping cart. I just need to know my, um, what I need to do for the drive-by of the band. Okay. I, I can't sing. I can't hold a tune on an instrument, but I can shake some things, you know, we'll jiggle, make a jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> All right. Have a great night, y'all. Bye. I got to find my song again. Where is it? I need to rearrange all this shit over here. I haven't got to use my buttons in so long. Bye, y'all. How do I say goodbye? Glad you came. Closing time. Hit the road, Jack. You don't have to go home. But Make the best of this test and don't ask why. But you can't stay here. We're all going to hell. <laughs> the rusty trombone. Marcy. Okay. For serious now. Cash told me I have to go now. Okay. Bye.